Welcome to the sixth installment of the Knights of Everflame, a special eight-part adventure to celebrate the launch of Pathfinder 2nd Edition. I am Jason Bullman, Director of Game Design at Paizo and one of the game's creators. Today, I'll be your host and Game Master for the session. But before we get started, let's uh, throw it around the table and meet our, meet our performers. Hi, I'm Rachel Seeley. Hey, I'm Erica Fermina. Hi, I'm Aki. Hello, I'm Gina DeVivo. And I'm Jeremy Stephen Walker. All right, now that we've gotten a chance to meet our cast, why don't we get started? Right. When, we've la when we last left our intrepid band of adventurers, five heroes conscripted and sent to Last Wall made their journey north along with Lieutenant uh, Andla uh, Ellisond, Private Carr, and a uh, little plucky halfling named Lucky. <laughs> Such a friend. Mm -hmm. uh, however, when you arrived in Last Wall, you found it in ruins, the place on fire. Lieutenant Ellison tasked you with one thing and one thing only, swearing you to become members of the Last Wall Knights. She tasked you with going south to return to her hometown and bring <coughs> refugees to safety. For three days, you fled south, uh, being hounded by the undead as they poured out of Castle Everstand. Uh, the lieutenant and private left behind. Uh, you made your way south to the small town of Cassin. Upon arriving there, you found a less than uh, welcoming reception. The mayor of the town didn't seem too happy to see a bunch of refugees arrive on his door. But fortunately, the previous mayor, Joan Arc Uptol, uh, found you, heard your tale, and immediately took you to his friend, Holgast, a wizard uh, in town. And... With the two of them uh, in tow, you went to go speak with a very skilled ranger, uh, Arnama, who uh, immediately went out to help verify your tale. The only way you were going to convince the mayor to save this town was to bring him proof. Uh, Arnama provided that proof, being hounded by a number of skeletal uh, knights and a giant skeletal minotaur. Uh, you managed to defeat these foes and provide the proof to the town council, which then gave you the, all the supplies and manpower <coughs> you needed to defend the town. Building up your defenses uh, as best you could, building barricades, reinforcing walls. Uh, two days later, the undead were upon you. Their forces came in waves first, uh, Hordes of zombies, throwing other zombies even, giants throwing zombies. Uh, it, was, it was a terrifying scene as the zombie, zombies tried to bash their way through the walls. Uh, and indeed, they destroyed most of the gates. But that wasn't the end of the fight. Soon after, uh, skeletons came pouring through, and the fight continued almost all the way until dawn. You sent scant forces to guard the gates, but they were not enough. And unfortunately, Holgast, who was out at the east gate, did not return from his mission. Indeed, striding into town was a headless horseman, and upon closer inspection, you realized it was the body of Private Carr, animated into foul, by foul necromancy, and turned into a headless horseman. He threw the severed head of Holgast at the group and charged. It was a ferocious battle. Carr, well-armored and incredibly skilled at the blade, nearly claimed another couple of heads during that fight, but you managed to prevail. Putting Carr back down into the grave, you looked around. It was dawn. There was a dark figure looming just outside town in the shadows, and as the first rays of light approached it, it faded into mist and vanished. The town of Cassin <coughs> survived, but there was much mourning to be done. There were many who died during the conflict, including friends. The town gathered the bodies for funeral pyres, pyres, burials, services, and grieving. But later that night, there was a celebration held at the Seven Silvers. There, the town folk gathered to remember those who were lost and celebrate those who triumphed. You were guests of honor and insisted that uh, Uptil joined you. The, uh, the old mayor seemed to regain some of his lost confidence at that, joining you up at the head table. You celebrated uh, life and victory. But such happiness turned out to be a little short-lived. Arnama, who was missing during the entire fight, finally returned to town to tell you some rather unfortunate tidings. The undead that you defeated were only the first wave. 
They were the ones that were moving fast, but there was another force, a larger force, that was coming in behind it. Slow moving, the town had days to prepare, but you barely survived the first attack. Thoughts were starting to turn to fleeing, leaving the town, abandoning it, going separate ways, perhaps trying to distract the undead. All desperate gambits. Returning to the table, you told uh, Uptil of your plight, and he seemed to remember something. He had came had come to the tavern with a book wrapped in uh, uh, simple uh, 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 brown paper, and he immediately broke it out, ripped open the paper, and put the book down on the table. An ancient history of the deeds of heroes. You, he began to point you to various parts of the book that described the life of Ekat Kassin, the town's founder. As it turns out, he was buried in a crypt some miles south of town. And there, above his tomb, was installed the Everflame. It was a, a magical flame that burns eternally above his crypt. And the town had always assumed it was just a simple torch mounted into the wall. But in this book, there was an illustration of Cassin wielding a burning blade, and the end of it turned into a bit of a metal basket. And if you were to flip that over and bury it into the wall, it might indeed look just like a torch. Better yet, more encouraging, the description in the book uh, mentioned that the sword was a weapon against evil and that it had powers to put the dead to rest. Seeing hope in this, you read further. Uptil flipped through the book to various stories and you learned that this might in fact, be a legendary blade, a relic uh, of Serenre, the goddess of light and fire. Her holy magic is a scourge to undead, and that lifted your spirits even higher. A plan began to form. As the group gathered to pay their final respects to Holgast, his body put on a barge and sent down the river uh, ablaze, uh, the group of you stood together triumphant, knowing what you must do you must retrieve the Everflame. And that is where we will pick up. But before we do, that evening, you're all able to go back to your, your rooms and rest. You are exhausted. Even though you got some sleep during the day, it has still been another long, exhausting day. For many of you, uh, more than just physically, there are scars of the past, some of which have been opened, others which are trying to heal. That takes a toll, and you're able to rest but you feel renewed and invigorated. And due to that, you have all gained a level. <laughs> you have gone from fifth level to sixth level. Yay! All right. And to keep the stream moving <laughs> along, we've actually done all those adjustments uh, uh, between sessions. So you are all ready to go and, uh, and uh, prepared for further adventures. So I know you've all picked up some extra feats, some extra abilities, and those are really awesome, but we're gonna let those be revealed during play. So when you run into them, make sure you let the folks know that you're, you're using something new and sparkly. All right. <laughs> all right. So it's the next morning. Everyone's gotten a full night's rest. All of your spells and abilities are, are recharged. All of you are at full hit points. Uh, you're all in, in great shape. Um, uh, as you get up, you know, you all kind of get up and I'm assuming gather in the, in the, in the, the seven silvers to discuss your plan. Joan Arc, uh, said that he was going to go and fetch a map. Uh, so you're just kind of waiting for him and you're all uh, enjoying breakfast, which uh, at the Seven Silvers are a number of uh, sweet pastries, uh, some fresh fruit, uh, and some, some, some apple juice from the local orchards. Ooh, this is good. very fresh. <laughs> So you're all you're all there. Asina is uh, 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 serving up uh, the the breakfast meals. Um, there aren't too many other people here. It's it's just it's just you. Most of the other locals, you know, they have houses, so they're <laughs> they're having breakfast at home. They don't they don't go out for breakfast. Um, so uh, a few moments go by. Uh, you know, you're enjoying your meal, and Uptil comes in, and he's got like a whole like he's holding like a big sack of stuff. And he's got a scroll wrapped up in one hand, and he's like, "Oh, good morning!" And uh, he he he's looking a little bit more disheveled than he was last night. But he, oh, morning, morning, friends! I I hope you you slept you slept well. Oh, very. Yes, 
That was okay. Yeah. Thought, the beds here are great. Mm, without mm. incident. Mm. Uh, well, uh, I, uh, I, uh, so I, I was talking to, to, to some people in, in town last night, and, and, and as they were burying the dead, they, you know, because they were going to burn them, they, they stripped them of, of things that maybe wouldn't burn, and, 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 and Father Prast uh, uh, checked, and, and there were a few things that seemed like they might be magical. And uh, and I talked to him, and since okay. since since you're since you're going on such a big quest, we, we thought maybe you should have them. Oh, oh. that is very generous. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah. he he <laughs> kind of magic item. <gasps> he uh, he uh, he opens up the bag. Now now the the father told me what kind of what these do, but but I don't I don't really remember, but. But I'll, I'll kind of tell you, because uh, he, he, he figured it out. He's, he's, he's better with magic than I am. That, that stuff scares me. Um, and he, he kind of sits the bag down on the table, uh, and he starts dumping out uh, items. And th there's not too many things in here. There's a, there's a pair of rings, uh, there's a set of boots, and there's a, a suit of studded leather armor. And he's like, now, now don't worry, a lot, a lot of these were on... Were on like Dead things. The, yeah. Um, um, but, okay, but, I don't but, feel so bad. But they've been, they've been, they've been cleaned. So they're, they're that not. won't matter me. No one can I readjust the no um, bracelet. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of which, I, I have two staffs and I don't need to. Uh, do you want Holgasts? Well, you don't even know what it does. You've been holding it this whole time and you haven't investigated. You can find out what the staff does. Okay. Uh, you can do that by uh, spending some time with it mm -hmm. and making uh, a, a skill check. And that skill check is going to kind of depend on what skills uh, you're particularly good at. For you, it might be religion. Uh, religion. Um, I you mean, can I have try. a decent arcana. Uh, if you have arcana, you can try arcana. It's a, it's a nine. Yeah, go ahead it's and give okay. it a try. It's all right. See, that's pretty good. It's all right. I don't have any ability in the arcanic cards, so you completely Oh, useless. dirty 20. Oh. Uh, so you uh, spend a few minutes examining the staff, and you realize that it is that Holgas staff is filled with illusion magic. Uh, and uh, while wielding it, you can uh, create a number of different types of illusions. You can make simple sounds as a cantrip, uh, but uh, if you spend charges, and for any one of you who prepares it, although I think it's probably, uh, it might actually only be the bard who has the right spells to prepare this staff. Ah. Um, I mean, I do have a lot of, or not a lot, I do have some illusion. Well, yeah, and to properly use this, you have to have all the spells in your spell list. So it allows you to create like an illusionary creature or uh, an illusionary. Um, you can horse already. You can change your uh, appearance, or you can uh, kind of throw your voice or something. It's called a staff of illusion. So I'll let you check that out when you got a spare moment. So I can't um, use any of this. So, oh, I'd love to take it. Yeah, honor our wizard friend. <laughs> I will. <laughs> and I'll look over to his portrait and they're like, oh, what is that? <laughs> he, he's almost knowingly kind of looking at you. You're pretty sure the portrait didn't just wink. You're pretty sure of that. <laughs> um, Wait, all right. Sure, it wasn't even looking at us. I thought it was looking at the <laughs> owl. It was the illusion. <laughs> magic picture. It was the illusion. Did you, did you cast it? So. No? You are more powerful than you realize, perhaps. Oh. He, uh, he holds out one of the rings and he says, now, now this ring, this, and it's a copper ring. And he's like, this ring will protect you against a, a little bit of fire. So if you, if you get, if you get put on fire, this, this ring will, will ring. protect you. I'm yeah. terrified of fire. Oh. Really? Despite the fact my, I thought you were afraid of water. That too, but my, my family does not like fire. You use a lot of mm, fire spells. Right, right. I don't uh, not on myself. Oh, well, this is cool. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll just, I'll just put this. I'm going uh, to put uh, it. Uh, and 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 uh, uh, these boots, these are these are, are sure? elven boots, and you but look at them, and they are. Me? Did you just say elven? They are uh, exquisite elven made boots. Uh, and and he's like, I don't really know what they do, <laughs> but I, I think they make you, like, really kind of like you dancey, mean, like an like an elf. Oh, I, think, I, think I had friends who had pairs of these back home. Yeah. I think I would be happy to take them if none of you have any objections. No. Uh, You've all seen I don't think fancy boats would be quite fair <laughs> with my outfit. <laughs> no, no. I think they'd suit mine just fine. <laughs> Too I'll much take out. them. Uh, and and here's, some, here's some armor, and uh, uh, it's protective. It's just studded leather armor. He's like, I think it protects you like armor, but, but, but like better armor because it's, it's magic. Right. I, I had a magic vest. And no, your arm is pretty good. Yes. Uh, omelet Very looks well down at her 
tattered I mean, stone I, with flesh yeah, leather. Yeah, I tried to fix so. it, but... <laughs> right? When no, the, it's when quite the good. stabbed you with its horn... Right, there's really, still a big you know. hole in it mm. yeah. from that time I got secured. Perhaps yeah. you should take the arm. I, I mean, I, I, I tried, I, but it's all... No, it's... better with live flesh, you know, sewing it back up. Sure, you know. it's a bit different when it's dead. Yeah. You're so, always getting very close to things as well. Also, yes. you know, this isn't even mine. You know, this oh. is sort of a hand-me-down. So, oh, I guess I'll so just... Not. I'm used to hand-me-downs. Oh, okay. So, I'll just take yeah. that. Yeah, it looks like it, it looks like with a little bit of adjustment, it looks like it was made for somebody about I'm a foot taller than used, you, but you can adjust it. I'm yeah. used to getting things sort of mm. tailored to my body. <laughs> uh, I he's like, I, I, I... Yeah, I had a magic vest once, and it just... It, you couldn't get food stains on it. It was really nice. Oh, that's uh, pretty but, nice. These yeah. Belfix, I would... Um, I dribbled... You know, so, so, but, but it, I, I lost it. Anyway, uh, and, and here, and he puts uh, the last thing out and it's a, it's a silver ring, the head of which looks like a ram. Ooh. And he's like, now, I, I guess this ring uh, can summon a, a ram or something. I, I don't really know. I think you, I think you can throw rams at people. I don't, I don't really understand it. Um, throw a ram. That's what they said. Cool. I can throw a ram. What? Uh, that's that's like what it, the priest said. He said, "You a live ram, and then you throw it." He, oh, I, what are you going thrown a ram for? I, I think, will take this. You, yeah, it like throws a ram. At, I don't really you understand. Are you interested it. in throwing rams at people? Also, oh, I love can it. I can I identify it? Uh, if you must. Okay. Also, if you punch someone with that in the face, what an indent, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can go ahead and make another arcana check if you want to learn a little bit more, because his uh, his description of it is a little lackluster. It's only fourteen. I don't know. Yeah, you're not entirely you sure. Anything. You're like apparently it throws rams. You don't know. I um, would take. I would pay yeah. to see you to watch you throw a ram. I mean, um, I don't. This I don't is know. Brilliant. I must say a bit. The the the, I don't know exactly the, the, the the father Prass just said you you just have to focus on it and it'll it'll do its thing. You can focus I harder. Focus. Yeah, and it throws a just bigger ram. I don't. So I, all I, really I ram just, around and ram. Like in the middle of the of the right like like don't in the middle of the now. in the middle of the tavern. Well, no, do sure. I'd love to go outside. Well, and, yeah. So you just did it, right? Oh, and and you just you only spent one one brief bit of focus doing it, and all of a sudden this uh, ram like shape Ooh. of force comes emanating out of the ring and blows Yuck. across the room. <laughs> Um, it knocks over tables and like flowers <laughs> on stuff. Things go flying everywhere, and Asina's like, Sorry! Oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Apologies, everyone. <laughs> and Uptil's just like, I, and, uh, That wasn't a ram. What was that? And it, it did kind of look like a ram. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing. It's magnificent. Oh, oh, you can make a, a fancy horse, and you can make a fancy ram. We're going to have a whole fancy farm. I shall call him Rod. <gasps> Ramrod. Oh, Ramrod! No, I, 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 well, so, uh, that... I like Rod. Rod. Oh, it's clever. That, uh, Ramrod. Uh, it's clever. Yeah. Um, so, that, that, that's what they found. There's also a couple of these potions, and they said that they would heal you. Uh, there's a, there's oh, a couple right. of these. Can I, good? can I have um, one? These are gifts sure. from Father Crash. Yeah. So I still I got all of my things to heal you. Oh, oh I would love that's, that. That's, that's true. I, I've still got a couple of these on me, so. I do as well. I, I have just, not yet had the chance to use them because we have such a competent and skilled healer. Mm -hmm. That's very true. I also, try. I forget to use them while I'm sort of. So these are these are these are simple, moderate healing potions. They, there's 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 three of them, and they will heal you for two uh, d eight plus three when you drink them. Okay. Really Perhaps simple. So How do I look? We want to give two of them to our healer, and then I'd see. do I, do any of you? Maybe. Yeah. The healer can take yeah. it and he can have yeah. them on hand. Oh, maybe it is better that you have them all. So am I allowed to hold more than four? Sure. You have a lot. Then I'll take one. Okay. Though I don't know if I can drink it in the middle of a bottle. <laughs> It has been a bit of a trick. It's You've been, been too busy, too busy swinging weapons to difficult. be uh, to be drinking potions. But uh, you never know when it might save your life because the, the the healer might not be anywhere nearby. And somebody else might need to come to your aid, and they need to take out the potion. And sure, if you need to just sort of dribble it down me like a like a baby bird, I'm okay with that too. <laughs> you, take, you 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 close up fighters should take that. Okay. Sure, I'll take one. 
Let's hope it doesn't come to baby birding healing so potions. All right. You don't know. Uh, uh, don't know. It's, you it's, don't know it won't. It's yeah. come up before, I'm I've sure. I've done it before. It's Have you? It's a true yes. sign of friendship and bonding. Yes. yes. You know, sure. one of my friends in the monastery liked to climb the, the outside of the monastery, and then he fell one day, which I told him he would, but he did not listen to me, and then I had to baby bird him a potion. So, um. She, we've sort of already got it. So, the <laughs> breakfast rolls on as you continue to discuss potion dribbling uh, <laughs> strategies. Love and uh, Tink, if you don't short Yeah, no. It, it, this one it, time in the monastery. There, there's a, we'll just assume there's a montage of it, and yes. it's great. Uh, <laughs> Telling you grocer and grocer. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah, it gets <laughs> worse and worse. It's American pie? And, 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 and up, till, up till just sits there like through the whole thing being like, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, uh, Asina continues to serve you uh, breakfast, and uh, she finishes uh, it off with some uh, very strong tea. Um, and uh, as she is serving that, uh, Arnama uh, makes her way inside. Uh, and uh, she comes um, striding in uh, and uh, takes a seat at your table. She, she grabs a chair, flips it around, and just uh, sits on it with her propping her elbows on the back. Good morning, and good morning, my dear. Morning, oh. morning. Glad to see you're all in good spirits. Just about ready to head off. Yes, yes but yes. We, I do have a question. Has it ever has it been determined what is going to happen with the cousin when we leave? Have you have you come up with any you, kind of a strategy? Uh, Uptal's like, well, uh, I've been working with with Colvin and. Uh, uh, well, I, I think the best thing we can do is try and rebuild uh, some of the barricades and 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 the especially the gates and stuff uh, to help help secure the town. I had an um, idea. I think it might take a little bit of time, but it could it could work if there are enough of you. Mm. That perhaps uh, you could invest in maybe digging some shelters underground. Mm. Oh. Well, uh, I, I think we can try. Um, I, I think the the main priority right now for a lot of the woodworkers is getting uh, stronger gates built of course, um, of because those those that's where they got in. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody can carry a shovel, and anyone who is not working on the wall could perhaps be doing that instead. Do you have any basements or shelters? Uh, being right next to the river, uh, basements don't tend to do too well. Uh, I, I had a wine cellar for a while, but it, it kept flooding. Mm. Um, but, but, but we can, we can try. Um, I, I know there's a, there's a bit of a, a cellar underneath the, the, the church and we can maybe try and expand that out a bit. That would be a smart mm. idea, I think. Mm -hmm. Arnama kind of looks at all of you and says, well, I've been out, uh, I've been out ranging this morning. How's uh, it looking out there? Uh, I made my trek out to my vantage point to get a sense of where the forces were. They're still moving. They moved through the night. That kind of confirms my worst fears. They are heading this way, but they're slow. And I think uh, if if what I'm seeing is true, they're not traveling as a as a tight group, which means they'll probably stop to gather before they attack. Oh, oh, you know, I just had an idea, because you have quite a bit of time before they come here. Perhaps you could get Father Prass to work on. A lot, quite a, a quite a bit of holy water, and then you could use it uh, in in like a, a cauldron above one of the gates. And when they start to pile on, you dump it like Fantastic. what some people do with boiling oil. Arnama looks to Updol, and he's like, "I'll I'll 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 mention it." Um, uh, so Arnama says, "By my best guess, we have three days, maybe four. Oh, that's uh, but I, I, I think we better finish our breakfast probably, and get a move probably on. Probably closer to three. And I don't think it would hurt at all if the if the residents prepared themselves for mm -hmm. the worst case scenario. Yes. I don't want to scare them, but I also don't want them to be unawares, surprised. Uh, Anama says possible that your own dead may be raised against you. In the in during the battle when people fall, we don't know what it is that is animating them or controlling them. So, burning the dead as you go is a good idea. Yes, they make a great point. Arnama nods. Uh, Uptol uh, says, "Well, uh, yeah, we uh, we uh, as we uh, started making more preparations this morning, word, word spread fast. So, the the folk are worried, but uh, I'm, I'm I'm I think." Um, 
And Arnama pipes in and she's like, uh, well, I think it's best if we try and keep people's hopes up as best we can. They'll be a bit better at their work and, and be a bit more prepared for things to come. I think worrying about the worst is on everyone's mind now. Mm -hmm. I haven't um, known in the people of Carson very long, but they're amazing fighters. And I don't just mean with weapons. I mean in their hearts. Mm. She nods. We, we do our best. I talked to that, uh, that, I talked to Rennet this morning, mm. uh, just to give him the heads up about what was happening. Um, I'm sure he's already reported to the mayor, who's agreed to uh, continue to work improving the town and uh, fortifying it. Uh, so, you know, small miracles. Question. Um, yeah. Perhaps when is the election? <laughs> uh, not for a few years, I'm afraid. It only happens once every uh, four here. Impeach him. Evict him yeah, from the seat. Something. Yeah. I listen. I, I I appreciate all of your concern, but right now politics is not exactly what we need. I, I agree. Ventner's a exactly. uh, Ventner's a, a a worthless fool, but but I, right uh, now we have bigger 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 problems on our doorstep. Is anybody making a, has made an attempt to reach out to him and ask him? Ask him to step down? Step down or step up, one or the other. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I, he's not currently in our way, so I can't ask for much more than that. Sure. But uh, uh, Rennet did provide me with one thing that I think might help. I got a pair of ponies and horses for, for y'all outside, so that should help you get along. Are you riding horses? Yeah. You finally get to ride. And uh, <laughs> and I've already stocked him up with provisions uh, for the travel, so mm. you should be good to go. Oh, and Jonak. I also included some of my scones. Ooh, oh, oh, nice. um, Jonak, you came in with a scroll. Is that the map? Oh, <laughs> Jonak, he's he's had it tucked under his arm this whole time, and he's like, it sure is. Ooh. And he kind of unrolls it and holds up the map, and he's like, uh, as you as you can as you can see here here here's Cassin, and, and 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 to get there. There's a, there's a path that leads down to the the broken glade, and it's it's called that because there's a bunch of trees knocked over mm -hmm. and it, it got hit by lightning or something. I don't know, long time ago. And uh, then there's there's another trail that that takes you along the the Gray Lake. Mm -hmm. uh, that that that's a nice place. Uh, it's 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 pleasant there. And uh, and then you need to make your way to to Serpent Gorge. It's it's kind of a windy, gorgy Serpent place. Gorge. And and on the other side of that, uh, uh, down at the base. Is uh, is 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 the the crypt of the Everflame? That's that's where that's where it is. Now I see this gorge. Is there a safe way to get down in there? Well, it's not it's uh, it's not it's not it's not too steep. I mean, you you probably don't want to take take like like horses down in it, but you could probably you could probably get down it without without. I mean, it's not like sheer. It, it's 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 just kind of okay. Yeah. So so I'm, I'm just gonna uh, hand that you you can take that. I made a copy. That's 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 a copy. Thank you. I've made one of those copies in like Give ten years. <laughs> Thank you very you much. I will uh, take very good care of it. If uh, this comes to worse, I can burn a, a third level spell and you know, wanderer's guide. No. I appreciate your assist. Hopefully, I will be able to lead I us there. So, so uh, I should also uh, tell you kind of what's in the what's in the in the in the in the crypt. These that would be helpful. Mm. No, but they're 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 gone. We we made sure the place was cleared out. There there's there's there shouldn't be anything in there. There um, shouldn't be, but, but it, unfortunately, the dead are rising every day. But yes. it but it's a bit of a it's a bit of a a, a maze in there, right? I mean, because it because oh. it was a crypt, oh. and and at the bottom of it is you need to go down down one whole level. So there, there's the top level, and there's there's a entry hall, and there's a room with trap uh, with pits, but there's they're, they're, I think the pillows might even still be in there. They're, they're probably going to smell real bad. Uh, and then, uh, then there's, uh, well, that's that's gone. And he's he's sitting here cataloging all these like traps and tricks and stuff that are all broken and gone. And he, at the end, he's just like, well, yeah. I mean, you should just be able to walk kind of straight through and down to the crypt. It, it shouldn't be a problem uh, uh, at all. Are there any like switches or things to turn off certain traps? No, no, not really. Uh, the one trap that you would have had to worry about uh, like that, uh, that, that was deactivated when we went in there and, and got the, the bodies out. Okay. 
it was a long time ago. We 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 closed the place up and 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 boarded up the entrance. So nobody nobody should have gone in there. I mean, it was ten years ago. I don't think anybody's checked on it though. though so any sort of danger we might face in Serpent's Gorge. Uh, well, I mean, it's it it. Oh, you're worried about snakes. No, no, it's called that because it's kind of windy. Oh, yeah, it, it's fine. I, I, I doubt there are any snakes in the in the gorge. Surprise! Mm. Let's be prepared. Are you afraid of snakes? I don't like them. I don't like them. The snakes are amazing. They're so wiggly. Incredible. I don't like wiggly things. Oh, I love snakes. They are incredible creatures. Very, slimy very good. And they don't have. They are not slimy. They but have are you ever smooth. seen one dance? They don't have hands. I disagree. She, the mayor's like, I don't, I don't know what don't j- that. I, well, the, anyway, I don't think you're gonna see any snakes in the serpent. Court. Fine. Okay. I mean, I, I mean, there might be. Don't I mean, worry, I if don't, there are any. I don't really I'm know. I don't want to lead you astray because <laughs> the last time I sent people there, it went badly. So I don't know. Be prepared. Um, we uh, have he looks no expectations. Suddenly, very worried. <laughs> no expectations, and even if there is something wrong, there it is not your fault. It has been neglected for a very long time, and so who knows what has happened to it in the meantime? Uh, it is not on you. Uh-huh. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. Uh, and, and with that, Uptal uh, uh, kind of looks at all of you and says, "Well, that, that's that, that's that's all I all I got. Um, I, I, I I wish you well, and 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 good luck." Finding the the Everflame, bring it, bring it back. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, because I'm calling you Mr. Mayor. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> kind of. You will be learn to take a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on it. <laughs> right, but thank you for everything that you have done Absolutely. for us. Mm-hmm. We mm. truly would not be here today without your without your support and your help. Mm. Thank you for trusting us. And the scones. The yes. Scones. yes. And the horses. Our, 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 so, you, so you make your way outside, and Arnama is out there. Uh, she she left at once once Uptal started talking about the map. Arnama went outside to 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 prepare the horses, mm. and uh, and you make your way outside, and uh, there are are five horses. They look in good mm. shape. Um, they are. Uh, Do they have names? Uh, n- well, uh, none that you're being given. So I'll I'll. I let named you- mine Pudge. Punch? Pudge. Punch. Pudge. 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 Um, uh, so you're picking. I want a bulky one. So well, you kind of have to pick one of the one of the ponies. There's two ponies and three horses. I will be taking yeah. a pony. Right? I will that's fine. I I, t- I picked the one with the baby fat. Yeah, that that's definitely one of the ponies. Is yeah. there the ponies? One, is yeah. there one that looks creepy? Uh, there is one that's kind of a gray uh, palfrey. Yeah. This um, one's mine, and his name is Bowie. <laughs> I, I will take one of the ponies and I will name it Marguerite. All right. Marguerite. Oh, My horse will be called name. Tea Biscuit. Tea Biscuit. All right. Because it's carrying a school. <laughs> oh, you got it. I love, I love it. What do you name your things? Breakfast food. Oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> you can decide on the way. <laughs> what what color is the last one? Uh, the last one is a uh, mottled brown. Uh, uh, pony, but it, it, it appears I, to have silver eyes. I think or you should bottle brown horse. Your magic horse. Yeah, this horse is no match for you. I mean, it would save me a spell slot. Then we have two horses. Why? Yes, <gasps> so I many love horses. That horse. I'll, I'll bring her back. Trust me. We'll but for so now, I will horses. ride. Dang it! I had a name and then I lost it. <laughs> oh no! We can give it a moment. It. We can I give it a I have to her first. <laughs> yes, I want to meet her. I want to get to know yes, her. I want to see how time. she rides. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, uh, she, <laughs> our Nama's there, and she's, she's, she, uh, one by one, she kind of unties their, their, their bridles from the, the hitching post and, and hands them to each one of you. Um, she, uh, explains that they, they all have, uh, saddles and saddlebags on them already. She explains that, uh, in one side is, uh, food and, uh, and some water. Um, so there's some, mostly it's like hard tack and, and traveling food. Um, but she does say that she included, uh, some scones in there for, for each of you. Um, and, uh, uh, on the other side, uh, she explains that there's some, uh, like traveling, uh, like bed rolls and stuff like that. So you can, you can have a, a, a easy way to stay. Arnama, once she hands all of those to you, uh, she kind of looks at all of you and says, now I, I, I reckon that you got three days mm-hmm. 
uh, the 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 map that Uptil gave you, the, the the crypt by horse is probably only a little bit over a day away. So um, you should be able to make it a good chunk of the way there today and uh, arrive at the crypt early tomorrow. If you're able to uh, make your way through the crypt quickly, you can be back here by the end of the second day. You might have to push hard into the night to make that happen, but uh, you should be you should have a day to spare. We will try to be as fleet as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the map. It will help tremendously. Thank you. All right. Well, uh, um, I, I, I wish you all the uh, the the best of the best of luck, and uh, Thank you. we'll be here when you get back. Good okay. luck with your and preparations. We will return. Stay safe. Can I can I make a suggestion? Of mm. course, always. Since we are going to nap, since we are going to take a day to get there and then get there in the morning, uh, I could go ahead and cast. Wanderer's Guide, and then we can get there quickly, and maybe Sarah and Ray will smile upon us and have us avoid any danger on the way. If that is what you would like to do, you are more than welcome to. We're napping. Is this something? Not we just woke up. Later. Yeah. Yeah, no, oh, like later. later tonight. Yes, so Sorry. I can restore that. I'm a bit distracted. <laughs> Might I ask, is there something I can leave for Father Prast with you? Oh, oh. Uh, there's one thing I want to do as well. Arnama says, "Yeah, you, you sure can. I mean, he's he's probably right over in the in the shrine. You are right next door. Let's but go uh, to the like, temple. I'll take it to him. I need to go in anyways. Please. Okay, we're going to run into the temple together. Sunshine Squad, out I'll again. watch your horses. Just be careful. Thank you. Feed Bowie one of my scones. <clears throat> I already am. <laughs> <laughs> I love Bowie. So, uh, Wanderer's Guide was the perfect spell to get you uh, through that lost forest. Uh -huh. But here, where you have a trail in the map, mm -hmm. it's really probably not oh. going to do you very okay. much. Just so you know. Mm, never mind. Uh, because you're not lost and you're not yeah. traveling through difficult terrain, you're going on a trail and you know where you're going. Okay. I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. <coughs> it's very possible that the trail might be wrong, um, but we're probably going. All right, so you make your way over to the, over to the, uh, over to the church and uh, you go inside and uh, the uh, father. Uh, is currently in the middle of wrapping up a sermon. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's talking about, uh, he's currently uh, extolling the virtues of community and how the bonds uh, that bring people together are, are inspired by a rastal and that the God uh, draws people together and it, it's through his, his love that communities stay strong. And uh, he wraps that up, and, and there's a number of villagers there, and they kind of nod and, 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 and get up to go and pay their obeisances to various shrines and then and then go on their ways. So he's he's currently like closing up his holy book and and he uh, he sees you and and nods. Father Prest, may, huh? I, may I bother you? Oh, oh, he looks at you. Oh, oh, of course, of course. What is it? And he kind of what he does is he's got he's got a very easygoing nature about him. For a man who's who's kind of uh, pretty lithe and and well built, he moves with kind of a, a fluid grace. And he he kind of steps off to the side of the the the, the altar, and he just kind of uh, sits down uh, next to it. And uh, so he's kind of looking up at you, and he's like, "What? What can I help you with?" I uh, a beautiful sermon. By the way, oh, it was very nice. Uh, very nice. Uh, I may not follow your your deity, but that was beautiful. Um, I, I've been doing a lot of thinking about our conversation yesterday, hmm. and uh, I want to leave you with something. He's like, I <laughs> donations are always welcome to help feed the, the poor and the indigent. Uh, not, not, I, not, not, not so much a donation. Oh, oh. I'll leave a donation. She like gets out a couple gold coins. And <laughs> Okay, maybe she could leave the donation. Yes. For yeah, yeah. Both, of us. <laughs> both of us. That's that's up near the front door. There's yeah. like a plate. I'll, right? I'll yeah. leave it back. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. You see what I wear with Shellen's um, emblem. Y yes, I. That is that is how I got a sense of who you were. Um. Iculus pulls a petal off of the emblem of Shellen. Hmm. I've been searching for something that's similar to this. Mm. I'm hoping that by leaving this with you, a man of faith, mm. perhaps pieces of it may find its way back to you. And when I find my way back to you, you can alert me if you find the rest. He kind of looks at it and nods. Well, I will, I will certainly uh, keep an eye out. He says, I've, I've never seen anything like it before. Is it 
Something sacred to Shellen? Looks like part of a rose. It is. Uh, it's more of a family heirloom. Hmm. And, uh, well, this is only part of it that I have. Hmm. The remainder of it is, uh, it's out there somewhere. He, he takes it and he says, well, I will, I will keep it safe. And, uh, should any of the other petals cross my path or, or should I hear of them in town? I, you will be the first, first person I alert. I appreciate that. Hmm. And again, thank you. Uh, blessings be upon you and your, your companions. And upon you. Uh, uh, a rascal strength. I hope that it guides you. Thank you. Good luck. Are you looking for a flower? So to speak. Oh, if I see any, I'll let you know. <laughs> From I now, the entire you. journey down there, it's like, here's a daisy. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh -huh. I'm going to be giving you every wildflower I see. But also, I'd like to run over to the the um, shrine of Sarah and Ray and, yeah. and give it a little kiss. Yeah. And then cast the light cantrip on it so that it shines. And, the light. and, and it works. Hmm. Okay. Um, it's not Nothing. Going to last long, but. Uh, although you can't help but be troubled by your nightmares from the other night. But it worked. It did I could work. Cast it. it did work. And now it's shining. It and did now work. it's here, and I know that it's shining. And this image right here, I'm going to burn it into my brain, and it'll be stuck in my head. The shrine of Saren Ray shining with light. And everything's fine. Everything's fine. So, the five of you gather back outside. Um, Smart boots, no? They look good on me, and hey, your armor is looking rather nice on you, too. You know, I, d I, I do say so myself. Look at this waist. <laughs> it's it's you have one. I have it one. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's full of breakfast, it is. Can somebody help me get on the horse? I'm not good at horseback riding. Come on. Thank you. And she kind of like... Watch, it's like watching a child get up on a horse. She's like, Bleh! and just for, hangs onto the the neck. First, it, I, for, first you're kind of like strung uh -huh, over it as uh -huh. if as if uh, as if I'm like a dead body. Yeah. Just swing you around. <laughs> I'm on it. It's okay. We're not gonna fall, are we, Bowie? That no. is not how you ride a mount no, a horse. It's how I do it. I'm gonna just swing your leg. Just, I, it's no, it's fine. I'm I'm on. He's not gonna let me go. Trust me, that's gonna hurt your tummy a lot. Oh, uh, two well, ones how do yeah. I? How do I? How, how, how do I sit on a horse? How do I sit on? A, oh, I mean, yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Once you're once feet. you're kind of Thank seated you. in the saddle, right? These are these are proper saddles, so they've got a little bit of a saddle back to them, and they've got uh, they've got a pommel, Shuffling and you're able to kind of grab those in the oh, reins. And it's uh, if you've never been on a horse before, and and many of you <laughs> at least haven't been on a horse in a while, nope. um, it uh, it it is uh, it is a, a little bit of a, a period of adjustment, but they do move swiftly. <laughs> Iculus takes a, a scone. And tea biscuit, have a tea biscuit. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I should also note that the saddlebags also have feed for the horses. Oh, uh, you know, I wanted to feed them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> still have a scone. Wait, now. Bowie, Bowie is a oh, fancy boy. So it's My fancy boy deserves a fancy scone. Done. Well, there are also, like, in addition to some, like, some general feed, there's also a handful of, uh, like, they're they're older, kind of looking apples, but perfect. Don't for worry, I Everyone can take please. care of us on the road. If we if we <laughs> need to eat, I am we're going to be okay. I've got you. Sure. We've got you in our party. We're in a backed up horse. <laughs> well, How about some music to travel by. Yay! Okay, travel music. <laughs> road trip. Play a jaunty <laughs> tune for our road trip playlist. How fast does a pony go? <laughs> uh, well, fa faster than you on foot, but uh, like <laughs> instead of moving at like you know 25, 30 feet. You know, per move, horses move at about 40. I'm so that's, you're able to make better time. I feel like I'm raging, but like, <laughs> I'm not, I'm all there. It's so pleasant. It's so not, look, look, I'm like lightning. <gasps> <laughs> Go, Pudge. <laughs> oh, I love this. My party is so delightful. Mm. This is such a good part of our lives. Mm -hmm. I'm so, so happy. <gasps> you all begin riding, leaving the town of Kassim behind. As you leave the town square, Arnama is there watching you go. Uptal, uh, Uptal and Asina come out to wave and see you off. As you turn and make your way south, because that is the direction you must go, the, the undead armies are looming to the north. 
you are turning and heading south. To head to the Crypt of the Everflame, you ride south to leave Cassin through the south gate. The only gate that is, in fact, intact. It was the only one that was not destroyed during the, during the assault. Um, you make your way up to the south gate, and this is right next door to Colvin's house. And uh, you see him out in the uh, front yard, and uh, as you ride by, he stands up uh, to wave at you. And, uh, but as he does so, he kind of very nervously like throws a tarp over something that he's working on that's kind of big. And he, he sees you, and he immediately throws the tarp over it. And he, Are you making a horse? It, it's not that big. Um, <sighs> but it is something kind of, pony. kind of long that he is, he is in the middle of, of, of carving. Are you making a very long pony? Uh, he, 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 he's, he, you, you start shouting out at him, what are you making? And he's just like, N never you mind, never you mind, good luck. It is a good long luck. pony. I, I did do. roll an 18 on a perception check. It's a long pony. So, uh, <laughs> you, you, you didn't <laughs> get, right. uh, uh, all of you that, that took a look, uh, 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 of course. Listen, particularly, insatiable you, curiosity. You, you <laughs> take a, you take a look and you, you try and get a glimpse of what it is. And all you can make out is that it was some ornate carved pole it looked like but it, it was kind of hard to make out exactly what it was it was some sort of large ornate thing that he was in the middle of carving mm. and uh but the moment you showed up he threw this tarp over it and he's just he's standing in front of it as if he's as if trying to block your view of it you keep your secrets i know what it is i don't want any spoilers it's a pony i've already <laughs> said it before it's a long pony uh -huh. tarp. one that all of the kids in the village can sit on I... i'm right Okay. I know I'm right. He uh, he waves to you as you pass and 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 shouts, "Good luck." Bye, Colvin. The town will be here when you get back. We will return. Hurry. Mm -hmm. He has a, uh, a a concerned look on his face. There's something kind of haunting hmm. about the way he's he's uh, he's looking at you, but um, like there's some sort of worry on his on his face. Anyone else find that interaction a bit weird? I mean, he is a, uh, he has been through a lot. I think it is uh, safe to say that uh, everyone in this town right now is a bit troubled. But I, I think that uh, if it still, still seems as though he is uh, experiencing grief, grief mm -hmm. when we return, maybe we take some time to sit with him. Maybe he just needs some companionship. Fair enough. All right. The group of you begins to ride south. So, the miles begin to roll past, and the day <clears throat> with it. Uh, the journey through the Fangwood, this part of the Fangwood at least, is relatively serene. You begin uh, your journey by just kind of riding through pleasant forest lands. Here and there, you run into large clearings where there are farms, because south of the town uh, are where most of the farmers live. Uh, north of the town, by the way, is actually technically last wall. Um, this town is on the border, um, so uh, Cassin kind of straddles the border. Uh, but to the south is where most of the farmers uh, uh, live in open meadows and whatnot. They've they've plowed them and and planted crops. Uh, you ride through some apple orchards. You ride through a few uh, areas of fields. Um, there are farmers out there going about their their daily lives. Um, many of them probably blissfully unaware of the danger that is to the north of them. Um, although certainly the ones right near town knew. Uh, but after a few hours, you start running into the last of the farms, and, and these farmers seem oblivious to what has been going on. They're just going about their daily lives. The journey then turns into the deeper wood, and you begin making your way to the first uh, marker on that map. Hmm. Uh, the Broken Glade? The Broken Glade. Broken Glade. That one with the lightning. Yes, mm -hmm. apparently this glade, uh, from what I can see from the map, has been cleared by some sort of phenomenon. It is a, an empty patch just here in the middle of the wood. Mm. Right. Well, uh, you, you find out soon enough, because uh, a little after midday, um, you arrive uh, at a very large clearing. At this point in time, uh, you've been traveling... Uh, uh, for about four or five hours. Those of you who don't have any experience on horseback are really starting to feel it. Um, Where? Yeah. And generally speaking, that means for those of you who aren't trained in nature, 
you probably oh. don't have much experience in horseback. What right? about oh. thick ties? Mm. Yeah. What about thick ties? Same ties. Yeah. That helps. Yeah. That helps. Yeah. I got See, I'm I'm got ac acrobatics and athletics. Yeah. I've I'm been absolutely going. fine. <laughs> oh, Austin. This is this is what I do. I mean, riding. But if you have ever want any lessons or pointers or tips, I am. No. Welcome. Oh, I yeah, want I do. <laughs> so the first thing that is most important for you to remember is you have to move with the horse. That doesn't mean oh. like bouncing up and down a bunch, but allowing for the the horse's movement to sure. sort of uh, okay. influence the motion of your hips and stuff sure. like that. The motion in your hips is the most important thing to uh, just stay loose. Hip motions. Stay loose. There I'm about we to get go. It go fast. It's like fighting. Uh, you might not want to worry about that right now. Oh, okay. You get experience Easy. with a decent uh, little... Uh, like, go! No, that is... Uh, no. Go! No, no, no. <laughs> what are you? Oh. There's at least <laughs> one moment where you go racing what? off down the, the path. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. And and it, it takes about a whole minute for the horse to kind of calm down. Oh no! <laughs> and, uh, and I take a little bit of time with that horse to kind of <gasps> soothe it and get it a little bit down. <laughs> that oh, was great! That, that was, was great! <laughs> you arrive at the broken glade in the early afternoon, and at this point in time, you're all getting a bit hungry. It's been it's been many hours since breakfast. Oh, and I'm you've going been riding to do a day. quick a little bit of a hunt really fast mm. to see if I can stir up any rabbit or quail. Uh, give me a survival check. Some squirrels. Find berries. Oh, I want to go hunting for berries if yeah. there are any. Right. I know it's autumn, so there might not be much, uh, much up op many options. But I would like to. Uh, I want to go hunting for flowers. Are you serious? For flowers. Yeah, all right. Iculus has been, been, he snuck a few more scones. So yeah. there's like scones coming out, out yeah. of the mask. Yeah. <laughs> like crumbs, crumbs falling out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. A couple crumbs come out. <laughs> yeah. That is a 19, but I have the forager, uh, the forager feet, which means I, I believe that. Uh, you get twice as much? Uh, oh, yes. Cool. All right. As long as it is a six. Is, is, uh, uh, as long as it is a success. And it is. The, these woods are very bountiful. Um, you're able to find uh, uh, quite a few handfuls of, of uh, kind of uh, end of season uh, blackberries. Oh, that's um, Have you ever tried a blackberry? And, uh, no, not much berries for me, no. Oh, they're so they don't good. really grow where I grew up. Mm. These they're will so be sweet. with the scones. Pop in your mm. mouth. And you also oh. managed to uh, catch oh, a few uh, uh, quail. Oh, that's mm -hmm. good. So we oh, have that's that's quail. I do like quail. And then, uh, any mushrooms? Did I pick up any of those? Uh, no, you didn't the find fungus them. water. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. I uh, We will roast the quail, and then with the scones, maybe we can make a little bit of a blackberry uh, sauce to go Ooh, over like there. like a compote. Mm. I'm not so sure there's any scones, though. They are better be scones. I have not had a it scone yet. If you fed them all to the horse, I swear, I will take you out. <laughs> Steal you no, 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 no. Did. You all you all had a couple <laughs> wrapped up in your own saddlebag. You uh, <laughs> feed them to the horse dog. <laughs> but it but it's clear uh. it's clear that Iculus has eaten <laughs> all of his. Oh, <laughs> they are warriors. they are gone. You can eat the compote on its own. If you have I think that uh, between the three of us we can probably provide for everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So everybody can have a scone with some berry, and you... You uh, get one. You get one. Only one. I'm not Only one my more. scones to him here. Yeah, I will give is. him half of one of mine, and if you give him... Hey, have I'll scone. go build a fire. This I sounds so good. Scones. Yes. <laughs> Especially if you have never... First, you have to try this fresh. Okay. Yes. Yes. Blackberry fresh. <laughs> now, this is a blackberry. It's Black a blackberry. Blackberry. And you said it pops? It's like a pop of flavor. Just one go? Yeah. Just hump. Bite into it. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. They're very good, good, aren't they? Oh, it's a little tight. Hang it's tight. It's tight. Oh, but it's, it's good. Bit sour, yeah. but yes. Oh, oh, give him a blackberry. Oh, if you've never tried one either. And I have a blackberry. Gosh, Everyone can it. have a blackberry. Ah. Give one. Squish it with your the roof for your mouth. It tastes like end of season. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Very discriminant. Yeah, no, this is a little tarter than you would like. Uh, you would probably mid season. You would probably tart. send this back if oh, you see, were this served is the it. Thing. Yeah. These are the kind of berries that are perfect for making wine. So if Ooh. I manage to find enough of them, I might take some of them back to uh, Asina to okay. make a little bit more of them. Mm. Yes. Oh no. Then I can <laughs> eat it. Feed my, Makes my, my mouth feel alive. I, I I should note some of you did wake up with a bit of a the, 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 the morning about. light was a little bright. Uh, oh, yeah. In particular, I believe I Omelette and uh, Linnaeus <laughs> both uh, had a little know. bit of fuzz around the edges. Uh, the, po the pony ride made a, a little bit. <laughs> I don't need that. I'm fine. Yeah, I've I'm got okay. a purpose. Yeah. I, headache I'm down. so excited to be hungover. Exactly. 
way too excited. Right? <laughs> Uh, while we're eating, I'm workshopping names with my horse. <laughs> Are you a velvet? So, so the horse. Are you Lady Silk? The the, oh. the horse has spent uh, the entire ride. It's a very it's a very proper horse. It hasn't Aww. hasn't bucked. It, so you're it's giving you title. It's it's giving you a very smooth ride. And uh, unlike uh, 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 around the other horses, it kind of holds its head a little high, um, and is just kind <laughs> of it has a nice kind of high trot. Um, oh, I'm naming you Tariel too. <laughs> <laughs> T two. T two. All right. So we have T Tariel the second. Uh, T biscuit. T biscuit and T two. Love, yes. it. Love it. So oh, we found attention. you a flower. It doesn't look like the one you have. And she pulls out this like little blue flower, and okay. it has all these little, like it's not even petals. It's very small, spiky <laughs> bits. Ton of them. It's not really spiky, but it's a bachelor's button. She passes it off. It's not like yours, but it's uh, pretty. Well, I am a bachelor. So. There you go. <laughs> and now you got a button. Ho ho ho! So you're able to enjoy uh, uh, a bit of break and lunch in this sunny clearing, uh, and all of the troubles of the last few days seem now almost like distant memories as you're all kind of lounging in this warm uh, I'm not, glade. I'm not e lounging per se. I am what? still keeping in a weather. Oh, eye of, of course. Um, uh, but it, but this is a this is a pleasant glade. It does look like at some point in time in the past. Uh, some sort of, and it, it may have been a long time ago, some sort of kind of cataclysm hit this glade, like something struck it and a bunch of the trees were knocked down. Well, I have, um, a, I have experience in forest lore. Would I have ever heard of something like this happening? No, but you can give me a forest lore to kind of try and uh, uh, determine, like from the signs, what it might be like. Mm. Well, that is not bad at all. Ooh, I will take it. That would be a 28. So it's definitely not a lightning strike. That generally only hits one or two trees and starts a fire. Um, this looks like it may have been, and you've seen this once before uh, uh, in uh, back in in Kyanen. Um, uh, the every once in a while, a star will fall from the heavens, and when it does, it kind of can cause some pretty bad devastation, depending on the size of it. It almost looks like a falling star hit this part of the forest. Oh. Probably a long time ago. The the trees here are, the fallen trees here are gray. That's how old they are. Um, they're not petrified, but they are calcified. They're, they're not, they're not there, but these are, these are like old. Do there appear to be any remnants of this? Is the star still here? If you're, you can't even tell because it's been so long and the forest has mm. slowly started to reclaim the glade. But still, that um, is kind of it's, it's kind of impossible to even see what direction <laughs> it came in. Linnaeus gets too excited and just starts digging with her hands. The Broken Blade <laughs> is not a fitting name for such a place as this. This is a star haven. I want to find it. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 clear Whoa. that the locals didn't quite figure that out. They don't. I they don't definitely have to. Like, or, lightning. Have to put that name <laughs> forward for a uh, for review. <laughs> <laughs> if you become mayor. Oh no no no! Dirt no, clods no, no, go no. We know the mayor. I'd vote for you. <laughs> <laughs> they are more charismatic and, and uh, intriguing folks among us than I. Oh no! I don't want to be mayor. <laughs> Mayors don't always need to be charismatic. <laughs> as long as they're good people. You don't necessarily need to be charismatic. Yeah, I mean, did you meet the current mayor? He's got no no charisma. charisma. No. Uh -uh. no, you haven't. You've sick. yet to not make a friend. What do you mean you're not charismatic? See, that's true. It's true. Well, I've made friends with all of you, and I've. I, I, that's five people yeah. in a matter of moments. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I appreciate the confidence you all. Oh, I should and take all the villagers down in you Carson. Very much. Yes. yes. Take the confidence. I find you very charming. You aroused all those farmers to be bowmen. Yeah, you're you're yes. good at this. You're good mm -hmm. at yes, rallying. I'm rallying behind you. Yeah, I would vote for you. Thank you. So, <laughs> the lunch is quickly finished, and your your journey still lies in front of you. Um, you continue to dig for a bit, but but never <laughs> find any. I you for any, a bit. Any, oh, thank you. You never find. Well, you find rocks. Okay. But they're, they're, I mean, you think that's a star? I'll pocket a couple of them. <laughs> yeah. That's, a, that's not a star. I know to rocks. Be, it's very not, but well. it's a pretty but to be rock. Honest, it it's a garden. If you think about it, we are all stars. You do find one that's about <laughs> this big. That is kind of looks like it's a uh, dark gray Ooh. rock. Ooh. Dark gray. Do I? Like really what kind of rock gray. is that? 
Uh, I'm quite knowledgeable of rocks. Do you, do you have a, a lore skill? Rock that lore. I have a lore skill, but that's where my family is, and I'm a rock runner, sure. and rock I'm lore. sort of well versed. Uh, well, you, well, you have dwarven I have lore, dwarven right? lore. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and roll that. Sure. What kind of one is this? She's just holding up rock after rock. What's yes. this one? Yeah. What's this one? <laughs> yeah. What's this one? Almost all of them are just like, that's granite, and that, that's granite, and that, also granite. Is this one <laughs> a quartz? Um, 24. That's not bad. Uh, so you don't know what it is, but it's not technically completely a rock. That's it not looks full like rock. It has metal in it. That's definitely not full rock. That looks like a bit of what I know and a bit of what I swing. Ooh. 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 That has potential. You pocket it. Right. Yeah. All right. If you can polish it, you might have a. Yeah. I'm, going oh. to, I'm immediately going to start using it to, to sharpen and, and start polishing this down. So you can't use it to sharpen your, your axe. It's it doesn't cool, look it? like uh, it's it's kind of a jagged piece of oh, rock. It's too if jagged. you used it, you might damage it. So it's your not axe. a stone. It's more sort of. It's like a chunk of rock. Oh. I mean, yeah. With metal oh. inside. Yeah, it has some, like, some it striation through okay. it of, okay. of, of, of some sort of dark gray metal. How can I polish this? I'll get another stone. Uh, polish a rock with a rock. Maybe we uh, oh. maybe we see if we can find it. I mean, I know you are an expert, expert, but... That's not particularly what I was trained in. That's so, more my family. So so you try and polish the rock with another rock? I don't know how to polish it. Can, can no. I figure out? I'm a crafter. Do you still I try have your own leather? You can kind of try that. I mean, you, you you might just determine what which one's harder, but because the, but the I, less I have hard crafting one. skills. How would I polish sure. the stone? Do you have a craft? I need more wet stones and stuff. Give me a give me a craft check. Yeah, I've got craft. Craft will help. <sighs> can I? No, it's too early. <laughs> crit fail I just really got cool. the party to spend a hero point on identifying a rock. Yes. <laughs> My curious. journey as game master is complete. You said there was metal oh. in it. I got to That's know. Great. Can I help her? I have crafting. Uh, yeah, you can. You can give a roll. Sixteen. No, you have. Oh. You literally are looking at it, and you have no idea what it is. It's uh, a stone with I metal. Also wanna help. I have twenty-three. Not bad. I'm also gonna help. No, no, right. excuse me. Twenty. Everyone is looking at this rock like, uh, what is this? Well, and that's the party. I'm not gonna <laughs> that's help the gauge. All right. Nineteen. 24. So, um, you, none of you can figure out what it is. But I will give you one piece of information. You do take another rock that's just kind of an ordinary rock, and you kind of just scrape against it to kind of see which one's harder to see. Because you have a piece of just kind of ordinary granite. And something interesting happens. <coughs> Some of the rock that's around the metal bands breaks away when you when you scrape it against the rock. So that stuff is pretty fragile. Mm -hmm. um, but the metal, the, the, the striation of metal, <coughs> doesn't break or bend at all, and it scores right through the granite. <gasps> oh, here's what we do. We use the rock to get the other rock off the, the one with the metal, and then we have just the metal, and then we can look at just the metal. Yeah, that would take hours. Oh, yes. Of, well, of we do it while we're traveling. Well, yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing on top of Podge. It's it's actually really hard to do that with oh. the pace you're going to oh. be trying. But to I will sure. say this. If we ever have the time to do a little bit of exploring, if we ever get some downtime after this, we should come back here and see if we can find more of that. We oh, can maybe make you a new axe. <gasps> oh, we when, can find that stuff. So when you see that happen, yeah. it does kind of jog an ancestral memory um, oh. of dwarves. Dwarves love to work in rare and exotic metals. Yeah. And you don't know what that is, but you're pretty sure it, mm, it, it very well could be a type of sky metal. Mm. I think my dad, my father, has told me something about that one. You, you don't know much about sky metal, but you know it comes from the sky. Oh, maybe that's the star. Hmm. I wonder if you can collect it now. I don't know. I'll send a note to me mom. Yes. Our right. daughter would know. Yeah. She's the one who trains all of my What's sisters. The as long as you know who's receiving the note. This, this is time. definitely. What <laughs> yes. do you mean? That's what, I mean, I know where my mo my mother lives. Yes, yeah. And you see Liz scratch out uh, something on the map and, and write something else. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, uh, you you pick up, and it's it's a small, it's a small rock. We're not talking about That's okay. a huge Melted piece. Into but, a dagger. But, but you, you do have a small earring. piece. So, yes. you pack up after your lunch. 
you finish up your 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 quail and your berries and and some and some scones for those of you who still have them. <laughs> you uh, you enjoy uh, pretty much just some water. Uh, that that's what's in the in the in the in the water skins that are in your pack. Um, although I should note that uh, each of you also has a tiny little hip flask. Ooh. Of mead floating around in the bottom of your of nice. your of your bags. Thank um, you, Asina. It's, it's not much, but it's it's there. He's going to stay down there. <laughs> so uh, you're able to uh, you're able to pack up and continue your journey, pushing deeper and deeper into the Fangwood. Uh, as the uh, the day wears on, the forest gets more and more dense, more and more wild. Uh, in fact, you are entering a part of the wood that is very old growth. Mm. There is a trail. It's a very well, it almost looks like a, a well-kept uh, hunter's trail that leads south. So you're able to guide the, the horses, uh, horses quite well. And with the, with the help of the map, you avoid taking any wrong turns. <clears throat> uh, it, it may not show it on there, but there are some, some other paths that crisscross this trail. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, but those are marked and you are kind of told the correct way to go. It's pretty clear that this map was designed so that a bunch of inexperienced woodsmen could easily follow it to the destination. Yeah. Um, uh, and for you, with some skill at navigating, uh, your group can find your way without a trouble, without any trouble at all. So, um, you continue making your way, uh, uh, and the day slowly slips into dusk. But just as that begins to happen, the forest gives way, and you find yourself looking out uh, at the banks of a very large lake. Um, beautiful. Nestled out here in the, in the forest, um, there is a long uh, 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 body of water, um, and you now see why it's called Gray Lake. Um, it is very placid. It's, not, it's, it's just kind of not big enough to have much in the way of waves. Um, uh, so it reflects the sky um, with uh, kind of good clarity. Um, and if it were cloudy, that would just be a gray mirror. Um, but right now it's, it's, it's dusk, so the, the sky is full of colors that is now reflecting off of the, off of the lake. Uh, I would love to see you do a painting of that. Oh. Do you want to know something weird? Sure. The monastery doesn't have mirrors, so... I don't really know what my face looks like. You don't know what you look like? I mean, you know, we, we would like sit between classes and look at each other and say, you've got long brown hair and you've mm -hmm. got blue eyes and yes, but I, I always got like, you look weird. Oh. Oh, I that's guess. mean. Oh, it's not mean, it's just true. I don't think no, that it's not true. You different. Look, you look like you. Weird is not a bad thing. Oh, this is I have embraced yes. my weird. Weird is fine. Weird is different. Do you want to take a bit of a peek at yourself? I then? do! Mm -hmm. Go look for yourself. She goes so. and like squats on the edge of the lake and just stares for a minute. So she is afraid of water, but she is not afraid of that lake. That is very interesting. Maybe it's just moving water. Mm. Maybe yeah, it's so. a bit flat. But she's not going over it. She's looking. I want to go look too. I'll go it's too. been a while. Yeah. My horse is like five names. I still can't decide. Mm. <laughs> T2? I told you it was T2. <laughs> What about? I wanted to give her a title. Something, <laughs> something, something regal. Oh, uh, Lady Your Excellence. Lady Elegance. Ooh, Lady yeah. Elegance Ooh, is that's good. nice. I was toying with different fabrics, like Lady Velvet. Ooh, Ooh. Radiant Velvet. Ooh. Lady, Lady. Achilles <laughs> is looking. Lady, still looking over, like cleaning Lady crumbs Radiant. off his mask. Yeah, no, it's a good call. <laughs> the Radiant Lady Cashmere. Can we touch the? I water? look down in the mirror. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, you you reach out and, and kind of touch the water. Yeah. And 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 placid ripples mm -hmm. uh, go out into the water. Um, and uh, uh, feels like water. Uh, Iculus and I'm gonna say Liss. The the three of them are currently uh, the other three are currently uh, uh, arguing over horse names. Uh, <laughs> And, brainstorming, uh, not uh, arguing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still yeah. staring. They're, they're currently right, brainstorming. I'm like staring right into my own white eyes. I'm like, oh, that's what 
cut like, my eyes out. Holding back your big bang. Oh, thank so you. That you can see your your face without the curtain. Oh, oh, it's interesting to see with both eyes. Here's the other oh. half of your face. Oh, that explains the perception penalty. All right, uh, so. Uh, uh, Liz it's and thanks. and Iculus, the two of you are are not engaged in that discussion. <laughs> and, and as Iculus as Iculus touches his his finger to the 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 water, uh, placid ripples just kind of go out into the lake. They don't go far. I mean, it's not like a, a, a magical effect. It's mm-hmm. normal. Uh, but uh, can both of you give me a perception check? Just the two of you. My new perception bonus. Uh, everyone's uh, everyone's uh, perception went up by one because mm-hmm. you gained a level mm-hmm. twenty one. 21. Right. 26. Mm-hmm. I didn't do that one. No, you missed that one. Uh, uh, 26. Uh, Liss, mm. you look out to the water. You notice that the ripple that uh, left from Iculus's finger touch is being met by another ripple uh. that is from further out in the water and is moving toward the group rapidly. Mild. Everybody move away from the water right now. Uh, oh. You are able to call out and give your watcher or scouts your warning. scouts warning. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's exactly what it is. As the water in front of you erupts. Oh. You, are all, you are all blasted with water uh-huh. as rising up out of the lake is an absolutely gigantic snake. Oh. Snakes, like snakes. And this one's big. <laughs> it's ma- kind of cute, though. The mayor made it very clear that you would not meet any snakes at the Serpent Gorge. And you're not at the Serpent Gorge. Not, you're at the uh, lake. So. Dick. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right. Can I get everyone, please, to roll initiative? Please. Dang. Plus one uh, for everybody, please. this is going to be perception because <laughs> nobody was out hiding or, or doing anything like that. And I, I want to be clear, Garbage. this snake has to be about 20 feet long. Ah. Um, its body is a good foot and a half, two feet wide, uh, and it is just rising up out I of the water. Snakes, See, this I is like, fine. I was okay with the dancing small snakes. Um, Get this big. It's, it's perception, so it's, yeah, it's going to be a perception. I just have the kind okay. of reaction uh, to snakes. 28. 28. Really cool. Even giant ones that can eat you? Uh, Linnaeus, what do you have? 26. 26. Uh, uh, Tariel, what do you have? 23. Liss? I roll butt, so I have a 16. Oh. Well, this is when to roll butt. Omelet. I also rolled butt for me, 20. They're our worst. All right. Uh, thanks to Liss's warning, Iculus. Oh, 21, whatever. You get to go first. And I do mean literally because of Liss's warning. Had oh. you not shouted out that warning, oh, no. it would go first. Oh. And I was right it next is, to them. Anyway, it is, so. it is rearing yeah. up to strike. Oh. What do you do? But. Um, it is currently um, it is currently away? 10 feet away from okay. you, so it's 10 feet into the water. Okay. Now, the water here is pretty shallow, but moving into it, the water will count as difficult terrain, which means... When you move into it, for every five feet that you want to move, you have to spend ten feet of movement. But it's not that far away, so you can still get to it with one move. My first, uh, Icolus' first reaction, he steps back, he says, Ramrod! (laughs) All right. (laughs) All right, so you're going to use the (laughs) ring of the ram on it? Are you going to spend all three actions? Uh, Well, because the snake's what? You said ten feet. Ten feet away, so yeah. And I have a range of... You have a range of 30 feet, okay. but the way the ring works is that you can spend one, two, or three actions to activate it. Okay. Each additional action you spend makes the force more powerful. So okay. it'll do more damage and it'll push the snake back further. Okay. Let's use all three. All three. Well, also I should note, none of you have weapons drawn. Mm-hmm. You're not ready for battle. You yeah. are just <clears throat> arguing, ab- or sorry, debating horse names <laughs> and and looking at your reflection. So yeah. none of you are ready for battle. Um, so Ramra would be the the, the perfect. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so uh, go ahead and uh, this doesn't actually require you to make an attack roll. Oh yeah. Uh, so if you're spending all three actions on it, you are going to do six d six damage. <laughs> And I need to make a fortitude save, correct? Here you go. Here's some extra d6s. Yeah. Oh, right. you got all of them. Um, let's see here. I have to make a fortitude save, correct? Yeah. Oh, all right. I need two more? Yeah. 
Oh, these are cool. They're cute, right? <laughs> They're my love dice. Aww. Love enough? Yeah, one, two, three, four. All the numbers are little hearts. Aww. So it's going to be 11, 16, 20, uh, 21, 23. 23 points of damage. Yep. And you're attempting to push it back 15 feet because you spent all three charges. Yeah. It makes the fortitude save. So it's only going to take half damage. Instead of taking 23, it's only going to take 11. But that is 11 points of damage it didn't have before. Um, and it is still pushed back five feet. Uh, which is super important yeah. because it could reach you at 10 feet. It can't reach you at 15, which means oh. it has to spend an action to move. Ha ha! Um, There's that. But it is next. I love this oh. ring. It's a good ring. <laughs> yeah. So... Uh, this uh, snake, which by the way looks like a giant anaconda, mm. um, no. is uh, going to strike out and attempt to bite uh, Iculus. The force came out of you. So here it comes. Oh my. Oh my. Holy Armor my. class 33? Oh my. Whoa. 25. 25. Oh, so okay, that's going that's to hit, great. but it's not a crit. Um, I am going to deal. 17 points of damage. Okay. And for its third action, it grabs you. Oh, no! Oh, oh I hate snakes. Don't like that. So, um, here's, what, here's what happens. Oh, wait. Uh, it currently has you grabbed in its mouth. Um, it, uh, you cannot move from your current position. And uh, if you attempt any action that requires you to manipulate things, like drawing a sword or getting a potion or doing anything like that, because it kind of has you, those actions might just fail. Okay. So you have to roll what's called a flat check to make those actions. It's okay. a real simple thing. Whenever you try to do them, you'll roll a d20. You need a five or higher. If you don't at least get a five, <clears throat> the action is wasted because you try to do it and you can't. Okay. But you can try as many times as you want to spend actions on okay. the thing. So um, that's... That's really the only penalty, uh, other than the fact that you're also flat-footed. Uh, yeah. So that's okay. that's that's what's going on. So uh, that is the anaconda's turn, though. Linnaeus. Um, what would I have to roll to identify this thing? That would be a nature check nature. because it is a giant okay. snake. I'm gonna try it. All right. Just this does take can... you an action. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Seventeen. Uh, 17, um, you know that it's a giant anaconda. Um, on the upside, you know that anacondas are not uh, poisonous. Good oh. start. Uh, uh, but they are, uh, they will rapid. crush you. Yeah, they're grippy. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay, knowing that, I point a finger at it and I say, drop him! And I, it needs to make a will save against my fear. All right, so you're going to use a fear effect against oh. it, not a command. Nope, That's an important distinction because yes. it can't understand you if you give yes. it a command. But I you know. can try and cause, to, cause it to have fear. This is a will save. Yes. All right. Uh, I am going to get a 34. Oh, I guess. I guess. <laughs> that's I, fine. I, I, rolled, I rolled really <laughs> high that time. fine. All right, so that's two of your actions. No, oh, fear is two actions. Yeah, that's two. Why do and I, have I to did the roll. Get by snake? Oh, and well, you did the roll. It. Yeah, you're all done. Correct. If you'll give me another no, update. No, 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 you've got it. Tariel, it is your turn to act. Okay, well, um, I am going to use an action to cast Inspire Courage. All right, so uh, you um, have cast Inspire Courage, which yes. is going to give everyone a plus one bonus on attack rolls. Mm, you have two actions remaining. I do, but I don't have anything drawn. I could, you know what, I'm just going to use a telekinetic projectile. All right. Well, and, there's, there's oh, plenty of rocks next to the yeah. river and stuff. And I had a question. So yes. I took the uh, feat spell reach. Yeah. It, this isn't applicable to this turn, but does that also apply to um, staff spells? Uh, or is it only things I can, I, I, I don't can. think it applies to staff spells. Okay. I think it only applies to the spells you cast. Okay. Well, um, I'm just going to grab a rock and actually <coughs> hurl it. All right. Snake. I believe that requires you to make an attack roll, so it go does. ahead and do that. Me. Um, 21. 21 will miss. No! 
the stone bounces off of its uh, uh, leathery scales. Well, that's um, my turn. Good you can make a lot of Paris. Come on, team! Out of this guy. All right, uh, that was Tariel. Skin outfit. Omelet. <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> Your what's for breakfast? Counting on you, omelet. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this thing is right in front of me. Uh, no, oh, actually, no. it's uh, it's still ten feet out in the water. Ten feet. You can still get to it with a move. Okay, what? Uh, sure, yeah. sure, sure. I'll get there and, uh, with a move. One move. I'll go towards him. All right. You go splashing into the water. One move. You do not have a weapon drawn. Shink. You move now have two. a weapon drawn. <laughs> and. Whew. All right. Retreat. So you are not raging. No, not yet. No time for that. No time. Hmm. Twelve <clears throat> plus fifteen plus six plus sixteen. Six, seven, eight. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight is a hit. Yay. Go ahead and roll damage. <clears throat> Nine. Not quite as much because you're not raging. Twenty-three. Twenty-three points of damage. Still a very reasonable hit. Mm -hmm. Your uh, axe uh, uh, dives into its scales. Uh, red blood pumps out of it, but uh, it uh, it looks like it's still in prime fighting condition. <clears throat> um, that is a wound, but not a serious one. Uh, Liss. I am going to scratch one boot against the other, tap my toe against the ground, and activate my boots of elven kind. All right. I am going to... Uh, place my hunt prey target on the uh, snake, and then I am going to spend a movement on a new feat I took, which is quick draw, All right. Uh, which allows me to draw my weapon and shoot it in the same motion. All right. So I will do that first. All right. So you just picked up quick draw, which uh, for one action allows you to draw a weapon and attack with. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> it's going to be a 20 on that first... First attempt. Total of twenty. Yes. Your your arrow goes uh, skipping off of its its scales and does not manage to land. Uh, and then I am going to use my final action. Oh wait, I still have two actions. Uh, well, you you hunted it and you. Oh sorry, uh, correct. Draw. I only have so one. You have one. Uh, I will use my movement to get a little bit more distance on it. Uh, you move back a little yes. bit. All right, yeah, because uh, it's it's really close. Like yeah. it could attack you from where it's at right yeah. now. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to scoot back. Top of the no order, Iculus. Now you are grabbed. Yeah, you do not have a weapon drawn. That's going to limit your options a little bit. Okay, you can draw a weapon or try to. You can also try and break free of the grapple. Now, to break free of the grapple, the best way for you, there's a few different ways you can do that. You can make an athletics check. Mm -hmm. You can make an acrobatics check. The <coughs> athletics check is just to force your way out. Mm -hmm. The acrobatics check is to kind of wiggle your way out. And last but not least, you can just try and kind of beat your way out of it. You won't deal damage, but you're just basically trying to punch it until it let, lets go of you. It's not about dealing damage. It's about kind of getting it to leave you alone. Okay. With your skill, acro or athletics might be your best bet, but yeah. I leave that up to you. Let me, I'm going to break free. All right. Athletics check. Um, so it's a 12. It's a 26. So uh, you attempt to force your way out, but a 26 is not enough. Okay. Uh, so that is your first action. Uh, you can continue to try. You can also try and draw a weapon, but remember, that's going to be a flat check. I'm okay with that. Okay. So you're going to try and draw your weapon? Yeah. Okay. So... What did you get? Ten. Ten. That's enough. You managed to succeed. So with your second action, you draw your blade. You can attack. That's okay. That that you can just do. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. So it still has you grabbed, and you attack. Oh, oh, I'm, so I'm, early. I'm eating up the hero points early in this session. Let's go. Okay. So that's going to be a twenty-four. A twenty-four. Just barely misses. Oh, your your on. blade, like your blade, hits the the back side of it and slides down the scale. Well, oh wait, I have the so it's twenty five. Twenty five. Forgot about the bardic mm -hmm. inspire courage, huh? Yes, <laughs> that's gonna hit. Yay! All right, all right. All right. Huh. I knew these are much like better. Thank you, Tariel. Yeah, that that's much better. All right, so go ahead and deal damage. Cast okay, them. and uh, it's just gonna be oh, because uh, this thing's not undead. Yeah, so it's just yeah, it's gonna be a d twelve plus four. 
Six. Six. All right. It was like uh, better than nothing. Barely. Uh, you you score uh, a wound on the serpent. All right. Uh, all right. Mm. So the uh, anaconda goes. Mm. This mm -hmm. is this is delightful. No. Uh, the for its first action, it transfers you. Uh, from, so it starts wrapping around you. <gasps> so it has you bit, like it's holding you with its mouth, and as it does so, its body starts wrapping around you, and soon the mouth lets go. But that's because you're in its coils. Mm -hmm. And it is now uh, uh, got you coiled up. That's one of its actions, is just to transfer you from its mouth to its coils. With its second action, it's going to constrict you. <laughs> Uh, now, the way that this works is uh, you need to make a fortitude save. So why don't you go ahead and do that. I can do it. Uh, 18. All right. So you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. no. Oh, boy. Take 10 points of damage. Okay. And it squeezes you so hard, you black out. Oh, no. He he's just he's he's not dying though. He's, he's just wounded. blacked out. He is currently unconscious. Okay. But he's not in dying. Correct. Okay. He he is unconscious. Okay. That is okay. different. He's like um what it basically means is that he cannot act until he regains consciousness. Now that's not going to happen as long as he's constricted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. So yeah, as out. long as it has him, mm -hmm. he cannot act. Um and it's probably going to continue to crush him every round. Oh, um no. So, uh, that is its second action. With its third action, no. now that its mouth is free, <laughs> it darts out and attempts to bite omelet. Me, breakfast. What? Your AC is higher now and you're not <laughs> raging. Nope, that's why I didn't right away. So this is unfortunately it's only attack of the round, so it's not taking a penalty on this. Everything else wasn't uh, wasn't an attack roll. So this is going to be an armor class of thirty-two. Yeah, that hits. Not a crit though. <sighs> Take eighteen points of damage from the bite. Okay. It does not have an action left to grab you, so that's good. Uh, its turn is over. Good. Uh, the snake uh, has Iculus in its coils. It is crushing the life of, out of him. Uh, I would say that he is turning blue, but none of you can tell behind the mask. Uh, Linnaeus. The scones are coming up. <laughs> oh. Um a gift for overindulging. That's true. <laughs> I'm going to pick a spot right behind it. Okay. So I can get all along the back, all along the back of the head, all along the back of the coils. Sure. I'm gonna cast Fireball. All right. You can easily position that in such a way that it doesn't hit Iculus, yes. uh, because the snake's kind of reared up out of the water. Yes. Uh, and I yeah. should note, this miles. thing is in the water, and if it takes Iculus under the water, mm -hmm. he's it's in very bad, bad right? trouble. It's real, real bad. Three more, right? Yeah, cool. Okay. okay. So I want 66? it to get burnt enough that it lets him go. Good luck. I want, I want to scare it. I'm going to make a reflex save. Yes. That's cocked, that one right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. 17 points of fire damage. It's going to fail the saving throw and take nice. the 17, but no. that is not enough to uh, kill it or even get it to let Iculus go. You still have one action remaining. So, question. Yes. Since I have, I don't have my staff in my hand, can yeah. I just channel my magic through it without having it in my hand to heal him? Uh, from the staff? Yeah. Well, so with one action, you need to be able to touch oh, it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You could draw the staff, though, if you wanted to. And if you want to use the staff, you have to have it in yeah. hand. You can't, okay. you can't have it stored in your back. Mm. There's also a shield. No, I want to get in there. I'm you want to move, move up? I'm gonna okay, move you move up into its, into its, into its area. Mm -hmm. uh, Tariel. Um, first of all, inspire courage. Yep. Um, second, I'm going to... Oh shoot, it's an action to pull out a scroll, isn't it? Yep. Dang it. <sighs> um, Three actions, not quite enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's one more than you had in first edition. <laughs> I could, um, 
But that's only a move or a Someone strike. <sighs> oh, that's true. Like omelet. What's the uh, what? 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 Taste. Or I was actually oh, wiggly. Oh. I was it's wiggly me, time. Me, me. <laughs> it's wiggly time. I could use four Maybe. actions. Hold on. Prime from the hit, 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 hit. Um. Okay. Could yeah. I, be I will. Or no, um, I'm unconscious. You, 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 you're, you're already quite wiggly. <laughs> I'll take my last two actions to cast haste on. Um, All right. On omelet. On omelet. I like being hasted. All right. So you're gonna get an extra m- stride or a strike. That's all you can use those for. <laughs> That's the only thing. I wonder I which one. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder which one it's gonna be. Moving down the order, the next person to act is me. Omelet. Right. Let my friend go. Okay. So first things first. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, I'm on the snake. It's it's it swiped at me. Yes. So um, I would like to start hacking away at the coils sure. in an attempt to sort of loosen. And if mm-hmm. I see any loosening, further investigation. All right. Uh, you're gonna have to do a lot of damage to it to get it to start loosening up. Right now, it's uh, it's looking uh, pretty fit. Pretty fit. Fit. It's got some wounds, but it doesn't look like it's not uh, enough to maybe desperate. Let go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then. Well. Then I'll rage. All right. I'm mm. going to, I start mm. doing some extra damage. All right. So, I, as I'm as I'm running, I wiggle my hips to sort of activate. <laughs> <laughs> Jostle, it's time to wake up. And um, <laughs> swing. All right. So you rage with your rage. first action. Second action is an attack. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Now it's, it's up one. So, and okay. <laughs> 35. A 35 wow. is exactly what you needed to score a critical. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Well done. Well done. Uh, yes! So go ahead and roll that, uh, that 2D... Uh, 12, add up all of your bonuses. I'm assuming you're doing negative damage right now. So oh, yeah, no, snake. not positive. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. want to heal it. Yeah. <laughs> Nine, eight, 17, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Come on. You slam your axe into the snake, and like at one spot, you cut it almost all the way to the vertebrae, <clears throat> and uh, and uh, the snake kind of writhes and hisses. Blood is pouring out of its side. Now it looks like it went from being in pretty good shape to being pretty hurt, but it's still got a hold of Iculus. All right, I swing you still again. Have two Lithery more actions. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and make me. <laughs> we have a wiggly bench and a slippery bench. Yeah, no, it, it depends on the day. All right, uh, so you make your 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 second swing. Nope. And that that's not going to do. But you do still have one more action because of haste. Yep. And it can be a stride or a strike. This one's going to still be at a minus ten, but you can still make it. Striking. Let's go, nat go right ahead. Let's go nat twenty. No, well, it's readable. It's cocked, but it's readable. I'll keep that. Um, so no, it's a it's a no, it's a no. So you swing furiously. No your 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 first hit was brutal, but the other two just the other two just couldn't manage to connect. Too wet and angry. Well, you're also standing in like river mud and stuff, or, or lake mud, yeah. so your your footing isn't very great, it's and this thing's sharp. thrashing about. Um, Liss, it is your turn. Yep, pray. My prey, and I will get you. You have my friend. You will let him go at this very instant, and I will take my hunted shots. All right. Two arrows come hissing out. Uh, the first one, I don't know. Uh, it's a 15 plus 7, which is a 22, which I think does not hit. 23, a, yes. A 23 is going to come up just short. Yes. Thank you for reminding me I have that plus one. I'm always very bad at remembering it. And the second one do not want to miss, uh, hit either, but I still have a third attack. Oh, you still have two more actions because if you use that hunted shot, that's ah. two attacks for one action. Uh, but I, the hunt prey uh, is uh, is that just up? Well, well, hunt prey, once it's up, it stays oh, okay. up until the cool, creature's cool. dead. Tight, tight, yeah, yeah, yeah. tight. <laughs> you only get the extra precision damage though on one hit. Um, 
These last two attacks are going to be at a very large penalty. Yeah, this is 30 minus 10, which is 20, which doesn't hit. Yeah. And I don't even know what the penalty is for a fourth hit. It, it's still just minus 10. They, it caps at, at, at the top. Natural 20? Well, that might do it. Let's figure out what the attack roll is to see if it's a hit or a critical hit. Uh, oh, it's a 35 minus 10, which is 25. 36 minus 10. 36 minus 10, which is 30. Uh, 30 <laughs> that that inspire courage six. always catches you. Yeah. Um, I should get a flag for here. Mm -hmm. um, so points. a 36 minus 10 is a 26. A 26 is a hit. The 20 makes it a critical. Ah, yes. Just so much, within so range. Uh, so go ahead. I don't get my precision on that, correct? But I do get. Well, you'll deck. get the precision. It's just not doubled. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. 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 I got. And neither is the. And neither is the the yeah. critical dent. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Oh, okay. actually, actually, you know what? I think the precision is doubled. Uh, I think the precision is doubled as well. Yeah. But this. Come on, is great Liz. There's also something else that I get to do. Oh. So that's. Grapple it back. <laughs> that's actually exactly what I get. To oh my do. god! That's right. <laughs> This is with your arrow? I get to immobilize it because I have a critical specialty with my bow that I keep forgetting. I kind of forgot about, but we... Uh, yeah, no worries. Sort of, oh, that is not on a tray. <laughs> You're literally grappling it back. I can I can pin it to the ground. Awesome. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, so it can't go in the water. Oh! So... So does the precision get added to yes. that? So that's nine plus eight, which is uh, 17. Uh, yeah, 17 times 2. 34. Which is 34 plus 5. 39, 39. points of damage. And it is wow. now immobilized. Wow. <laughs> so your arrow Thank you, goes uh, flying uh, through the air and dives straight through the snake. Um, you It, it hits, hisses and writhes, but it looks like you, you pinned its tail down in the muck. Um, it, it will now have to struggle to break free of that, uh, but it'll cost it an action if it, if it even tries to do so. But it still has Achilles. You ain't going nowhere, baby. I got you. And it's still fighting. <laughs> Top of the order. Achilles, you're unconscious. Mm -hmm. You don't get to act. You're, you're blacked out. You're in, you're in, a, you're in a, a darkness that feels uh, far too tight and, uh, and, and crushing. As a matter of fact, the snake now goes, its first action is to continue crushing you. Take 11 points of damage as it does so. <laughs> With its second action, it is going to attempt to bite uh, Omelette again. Me! That is an armor class 37. Holy. And that crit. Um, wow. The snake, desperately hurt, rages and slashes out with its fangs, uh, with its bite, and hits you for uh, 36 points of damage. Instead of trying to grab you, though, it spends its third action lashing out at, with its tail. Its tail has greater reach, um, but but it's still I thought its tail immobilized. Was pinned. Oh, the well, the it's it's immobilized kind of in the middle of it. Okay. Uh, the oh, tail can still little... kind of s swap out. Um, it, it it looks like it it's it's it it doesn't know what's ki kind of what's holding it on. It's not used to being pinned, uh, <laughs> but it does still. <laughs> I imagine it uh, doesn't. Uh, it still slashes out with its yeah, tail, and story. it's going to uh, slash out at Linnaeus because you are right next to it. Okay. Uh, the tail comes <laughs> flying out at you. This is an agile attack, so the penalty isn't as big. Uh, 23? Hits by one. Ah, uh, so it's going to hit you with the tail. Um, you will take... Twenty-two points of damage, and you're knocked back ten feet. No. So you're knocked back uh, uh, away from it. So you're pushed directly away from it, and because you approached on the side of shore, you are pushed out back onto land. It hits you so far hard, you get knocked back up onto land. Okay. That is the snake's turn, Linnaeus. Okay. Well, this thing has made me mad. Mm. So Has it. it to him. <laughs> what do we do to things that make me mad? <laughs> we light them on fire. <laughs> we send Saren Ray's holy ass <laughs> right in his face. I, I'm not sure what spell that is, but I, <laughs> it's I'm, called Searing Light. Oh, okay. 
I didn't know it was shaped like a butt, feet. but all right. I mean, it's not. It's, it's a, it's a metaphorical. Ass. Oh, all right. Yeah, no, that's fine. All right, yeah. Ass. Yeah, yeah, sure. Can I get two? I'm sure that Sarah six, and Ray is, is, uh, has great assets. No, that, <laughs> of course. <sighs> Puns. <laughs> Puns. <laughs> all right. I heard them hiss off screen when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Not a 20, but it's a 19. Nice. Let's see. Let me, hang on. It's 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 a 30. Did you add your plus one? Is that one? Place? 31. <laughs> that is a hit. No, 32. Sorry. A hit. Still not a critical hit. Well, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> That's just fine. That's fine. You don't get to make a save. You're gonna take it all. So, <laughs> so. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, wow. Twenty-sixes. Yes. That is twenty-six fire damage. Oh, and then. Oh, and then. Let's take some more. Oh, that's not is bad this, either. Is this good damage? Twenty-one good damage. It doesn't take the good damage. What? That's not evil. Only evil creatures take good damage. Hmm. Searing light works great take against your fire damage. I will take Get my out. fire damage, which was quite good. <laughs> quite good. It was twenty-six fire damage, if I recall correctly. It was like a really. It was three sixes of five and a four. So. Uh, that's eighteen plus nine, so that's twenty-seven. All right. Uh, so uh, that is going to put it to one. Oh, I'm sorry. It was a three, not a four. It is. It was twenty. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Yeah. So. Take your fire uh, damage and get out. <laughs> You are still brilliant get and beautiful. Get right out of the town. You so uh, your town. your uh, your uh, your holy light slams right into it. The fire burns through its scales. Um, it is scorched. This thing is kind of thrashing about now. It looks incredibly badly hurt. It has wounds all over it. Arrow hits. Axe hits. Burns. I have but one it's more. Still action. fighting, and you have one more action. Let okay. Go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just slipping in Wait. and out of consciousness. Uh, I'm. I'm. Uh. Oh. Oh. Pulling out the wand. The not the wand. The the staff. Staff. I'm pulling All right. Out my staff. That was Linnaeus. Tariel. Um. Inspire courage. All right. Keeping our hopes up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. we can do this. Just every like every most intense. Yeah. 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 Every. I'm like slipping out of consciousness. And then I'm going to uh, oh. take my last two actions to pull out um, the staff and the wand. All right. Ooh. You pull out the staff and the wand. Just like you, ready. We're ready. Omelet. <laughs> Keep fighting, buddy. <laughs> Ooh. Um. <laughs> Thirty. Thirty. Your axe goes whistling right through the way. air. No, no, so that's wrong. Plus fifteen. Yes. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. That's plus one. Thirty-three. Still a solid hit. <laughs> yeah. Are you raging? It keeps no. going up. Uh, yeah. Oh. That doesn't give a bonus that hit. It gives a bonus to oh. damage, and it drops her AC. Oh. Only by one. No. Oh, but it matters. Those those little ones make the difference between hits and crits more often than you might think. Seventeen. So the axe dives into the snake, slicing through scales. More blood comes pumping out of the beast, and it begins to sink beneath the waves. Oh, uh, no. I, not very fast. You're pinned. Well, it, it actually is such a big snake that it can't fully submerge in this shallow of water. So it's just kind of fallen into a bit of a heap. Sheave. Yeah. Scoop. Yeah, you're able to, uh, you're able, the moment it's dead, it, it's coils immediately like relax and that sound of like kind of scale on scale as it kind of slithers and, uh, and uh, Iculus is kind of Iculus, come Wait, on, dead? Iculus, Iculus. Yeah. Oh, it's dead, dead. I thought oh, yeah. it was going into water. No, oh. I'm running forward. It's healing time. <laughs> so Wake up, we can't lose your amazing thighs. Slap, slap, slap. <laughs> slap. They are very nice thighs. Please, we, so, we appreciate them. So they are the, very strong. We're saving the thighs, not the, 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 yeah, the thighs. The, I mean, the thighs. rest of you is just a perk. Yeah. Uh, so, well, I uh, mean, heal, yeah, heal, the, heal, 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 heal. I can do two at a time. Thank you. Heal. Uh, so, the moment oh. the coils release, you hear him kind of do a <gasps> as it, as the air is allowed back into him. It, it was the it was the fact that it was kind of preventing oh. him from breathing, which just was causing oh. him to black out. So the moment it, it's kind of released from him, you you 
yeah. seeing nothing but stars and and kind of blackness, but uh, your vision slowly starts uh, coming back to you. I'm Did already someone say something wounds. about my thighs. All right. <laughs> I may have. Yeah, only that they are majestic. It was only good things. Okay. All right, so you're going to. I can uh, fix you. You're going to start by doing some medicine. Mm-hmm. All right. The one on Iculus is going to be. Yeah, it's it's beating it. It's fine. It's like a nineteen, and yeah, sure. That's before adding anything. Well, that if you score a critical hit, you Ooh. feel more. Because uh, you you've only been shooting at the DC fifteen, right? Yes. Not twenty. Yeah. All right. And I decided that before I rolled, so I can't yeah. say I'm going to do the twenty. Because <laughs> I want to be safe. All right. Um, Thirty-one. A thirty-one is a crit, so it'll do. Uh, it'll do forty-eight. <laughs> I need. Uh, and this one is not a heal, so I don't get to use my D10. Correct. These are oh, you just, need one? just yeah. medicine. Uh, let's yep. go with white. Oop, that there seems like a nice healing that I used, and Achilles is going to take... Oh, I should have given you a blue. Dang it! 16 points of healing. All right. Take it. Thank 16 you. 16 is better than nothing. All right. And I'll just continue through the rest of the night to treat his wounds as well. Um, and then... 17, so I, I hit. Uh, are you spending another 10 minutes, or? I can treat two people at once. Oh, that is that was the a, new feat I took. That's the new oh. feat. I can do treat wounds on two people at the same time. Oh, that's amazing. Ah, you picked up Ward Medic, which allows you to treat more than one person uh, at once. Huh? I Hi. see. I'll just yeah. stand very close. And I can still lay on hands, right? Absolutely. Okay. So you just regain another She's 18. just patting your yeah. face yeah. gently. Perfect. I can fix you. It's fine. That'll be uh, another uh, 2d8 for uh, Amla. Ooh. That's good. Yeah. 14. Thank you very much. You get some 14 healing, and I'm just going to, if we're going to camp anywhere nearby, then I'm going to spend the rest of the night just Yeah, let's here. move away okay. from the lake. You said 14? How do you all 14. feel about the snake steak? Snake steak. Never had <gasps> snake. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> hey, this thing tried to eat you. You want yeah. to know how you claim victory over it? You eat it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I start carving off some steak. Save the skin. It's not poisonous, oh, yes, right? Do that do doesn't that. always work. I'm going to use my foraging skills. So, to uh, yeah, go ahead and give me a survival check, and we'll mm -hmm. see how much uh, uh, leather and meat you get. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want a snake skin Ooh, jacket. Snake oh. Mm. <gasps> Natural 20. <laughs> you harvest the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with my survival, that would Ooh. be a 34. I will harvest the so, crap out of this thing. So uh, oh, you, you spent some time. I'm assuming you've decided to camp here. Oh, yeah. Because oh. The, that, that is going to uh, like take for, like an like hour. In the, probably within the tree line, to a little bit of water. Yeah. A little bit further water. back. Okay. Yeah. But yes. just, just in case the snake has a family nearby. Yes. Um, all right. So you're able to uh, kind of carve up this snake. You get a whole bunch of uh, uh, scraps of very fine snake leather. Although it's not a complete snake skin yeah. because you've cut it up in so many places. It was so badly damaged. Plus it would uh, also be super fight. heavy. Yeah. Or but you do, you do get a number of, of nice big uh, sheets of snake leather. Uh, you can't really properly jacket. cure it or hand or, or dry it here, but you can kind of scrape the meat off and, and throw some salt on I'll it from the pack. There's a little bit of salt. Pre -pre um, mm -hmm. uh, you also are able to get a whole bunch of snake meat, and there is one intact fang. The other, the other, the other fang. It's not a poisonous snake, so it, they weren't they weren't gigantic fangs. Yeah. But they're they're. I mean, they're like this big. Yeah. So there's one of them that's pretty intact. The other one got a bit chipped in the belt. The meat is a bit tough. You could actually tie it to your belt or something. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a, nice, a nice. I'm appreciating an accessory. <laughs> <laughs> you got me hooked on them. It's fun, isn't it? Got all these shiny, bobbly bits all over you, and I, I quite like it. A bit teen for myself, so. <laughs> so we have a thing for you. We have a potential leather jacket, uh, oh, yes. snake leather jacket, oh, and yes. I'm going to start grilling up some steaks. Mm. I'm going to eat the last of my scones. You don't like it. Uh, snake does not sound appealing. Try, <laughs> I've never had Tastes it. Tastes like chicken. Try a little bit of it. If you don't like it, you don't have to continue. But I say try everything at least once. Mm -hmm. You never know. Except for necromancy. You don't try necromancy once. But okay, I'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> I make a petite steak for uh, my chef. <laughs> One. Next so, fancy. Not even once. <laughs> not even once. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, no. After after what you've all been through, that's a reasonable guideline. <laughs> all right. So uh, the the group uh, the group goes uh, over to the forest edge, and you and you break down to camp, and uh, you enjoy oh, some wow. some grilled uh, snake fillets. Um, they taste mostly like 
uh, chicken uh, for the most part, uh, but uh, it, it makes for a fine meal and you are able to uh, while away the evening. I'm assuming you keep watch, but nothing comes to bother you. The <laughs> night is uneventful. Everyone can get healed back up to full via Ooh. medicine and uh, because of the lay on hands. So I'm not even gonna ask you to roll. That's just a, a matter of time and you have plenty. So uh, you're able to easily triage everyone. Everybody gets all of their spells and preparation back nice. and you wake up the next morning. I'm immediately Ooh. looking for more flowers. All right. I want <laughs> um, waking up uh, uh, along Gray Lake, um, it is it is a pretty sight. You're you're kind of camped off to the west side of it. So as the sun rises, its uh, its fiery colors uh, reflect right off the lake, and you're able to kind of have a have a beautiful morning. Um, it is a a, a a a natural beauty in this place. Oh, it's um, so serene here, except for of course the giant snake corpse. The snake well, cock you are after all in the Fangwood. Mm. Um, so it makes that's sense. Where, mm -hmm. That's where it gets its name. Now we understand. Mm. Oh, I hate also a it. lot of werewolves. I missed. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of what? things with werewolves. Lots of things with fangs, including me. I, I'm sorry. What? I have little sharp teeth. Oh yeah, little sharp teeth. Why is that? I was just born that way. That's, that, that's not unnatural. My sister's got a bit of a canine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. It's totally normal. Mm. Everything is totally normal. It's normal. Uh, I'm gonna go look for more flowers. <laughs> <laughs> that's totally normal. I'm uh, leaving uh, now, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Don't mind me. <laughs> so, uh, you're all able to uh, uh, pack up. You're able to do your morning preparations, prepare your spells, uh, get your food uh, 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 settled, um, uh, feed the, the horses. Um, you, you, I'm assuming you took good care of I them probably last night. Went, I, went, I, prob I also probably in the morning maybe tried to find some like a, some robin's eggs or something to make maybe a little bit of a scramble with the leftover mm. steak meat. An omelette. Mm. An omelette. <laughs> An omelette is your specialty. Omelet. <laughs> maybe so you I can help of, with that. Herbs. It was quite a joke in my family for many years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I want to make something kind of different. Snake omelette? A snake omelette. Mm. Oh, sure. Uh, 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 go I ahead and give me a survival check. I do oh, it. Just want to check one thing. Of course. Uh oh. Does the yolk not break? great, but not terrible. <laughs> is it? It is rotten. in. Is it dirty? Twenty. Uh, you managed to find a few birds' eggs. You didn't find any snake eggs. All right. I didn't. Uh, okay, I just. No <laughs> problem. <laughs> well, good. <laughs> We weren't trying to get, oh, you mean snake eggs, snake eggs. Oh, boy. Yeah. Hey, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you went looking for eggs. I don't know what kind you might find. We got to go. I want to leave. Oh. Oh, all right. You want to leave now? Okay. Yeah. So uh, oh, you are I able mean, to <laughs> do more exploring, but we don't nope, have the time. Nope, Let's go. Nope, nope, so nope. Uh, you, you've only been given a day and a half to get there. Yes. So uh, you, My you, 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 you do wake up with a, with a bit of kind of refreshed purpose, and you and 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 the weight does settle on you. That's one day. The undead army is closer. You now only have two days remaining. You might have three, but there's no guarantee that that's the case. Yes. So you begin pushing onward. Uh, now with renewed purpose, you, you get back on your, on your steeds and begin continuing your journey south. Did you sleep well, Marguerite? The next three hours pass in a bit of a blur. The forest is very dense, but the trail is well marked. And it, although it appears that no one's been this way in quite some time, especially this far south, the trail itself was well built all those years ago. And although there are places where you have to kind of lead the ponies around new deadfalls or things like that, or the horses and ponies around new deadfalls, um, the trail itself is still intact. Um, there are places where it's gotten a little overgrown, but not so much that you would have any chance of losing it. This is a distinct difference from north of Gray Lake, where it looks like that is kind of much more within the ranging area of hunters. Uh, now that you're south of this, now you're starting to get into the deeper wilds of the Fangwood. Um, the, the journey from this point um, uh, takes you kind of uh, ever closer to your destination, and after three hours, the tree line breaks, and you are now looking down at a very large gorge. Mm. The moment we start to approach it, uh, you can see Liz has started like unpacking a bit of rope mm -hmm. from their pack and some uh, pythons and like uh, getting starting to like rig some stuff up. They're like they're on their horse, kind of just rigging. Didn't, and didn't he say we could just kind of walk down? We could, but steep. not on the horses, doll. Not on the horses, and can, not not just that. We can leave the horses up yeah. here, but I am a rather safe than sorry kind of fellow. Oh, okay, I like. That. <laughs> so 
Let me explain one little thing to you because as you arrive, you notice a new complication. Oh, yes, this is why I did the thing. Looking <laughs> down into the gorge, the gorge itself is as described. It's not very steep. Um, it's, it's it's about a forty-five degree angle at most. Um, so it's it's you know it's just kind of a. a an incline. You wouldn't want to really take the horses down. It. There, there's far too great a chance that the horses could stumble and fall and break a leg or something, which would be catastrophic. Like so you, you, you know you can't do that. But there's a further complication that's going to make it a lot more challenging. It looks like over the years, a uh, this uh, the sides of this valley has become home to an entire kind of field of bramble. It's just, uh, it's just uh, a twisting, curling bramble, uh, covered in sharp thorns, uh, almost all the way down the slope. How it's mostly on this side, but- How wide is this? Uh, the gorge? Yeah. Uh, it's really wide. I mean, like you're looking at- feet or? Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's gotta be like half a mile to a oh mile wide. Oh my gosh. Um, it's huge. I mean, it's, it's like a giant, divot in the earth, it looks like at, the, at some point in time, way in the past, there was either a, a river that ran through this oh. way or an earthquake split it open. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, this is huge. It's really big. In some places, it looks absolutely gigantic. Like it might be, you know, uh, as you look out towards the ends, it looks less like a gorge and more like just a giant depression that could be several miles wide. Should I burn my way through? I was about to ask if someone wanted to burn their way through. Okay, time for burn burning hands. And it's a cantrip, so I can just <laughs> Well, you have produce flame, right? Burning mm -hmm. hands. Oh, burning hands is a first level spell. Do you have produce flame? What do I have? I don't know. I so, have... So while you look that up, um, <laughs> Uh, this can bramble. I ask my way through? What? Can I ask my way through? You can, but it would take hours. I mean, you have to remember, you're talking about chopping through half a mile of bramble going mm. downhill. Mm. Right. How far can you shoot your bow? Pretty far, I think. Maybe we could sort of do like a, like a, you shoot a rope across and we sort of shimmy our way and avoid the brambles altogether. If it wasn't quite as wide, that would probably work, but the, the gorge is like a mile wide here. There's no way you have a mile of rope. I believe in you. <laughs> I appreciate I your idea. faith in me. Sure. What is your, what is what your if idea? I take some time, cast Phantom Steed, and we just ride that over the bramble, send it back up, and just take our time? Would that work? The Phantom Steed is not immune to damage, so um, mm. it, it can be hurt mm. like a horse. My boots will um, allow me, I think, to travel over this quite easily, but I cannot, uh, that, but that is just me. It is not all of you. And, uh, sure. So, Liz, can you give me a uh, survival check, please? Of course I can mm. do that. As you're uh, surveying the bramble. Which one of you has not betrayed me too much lately? I will take a risk on you. Mm, well, that is a 24. Okay. So with the 24, you look down at this at this slope and you oh. identify the fact that there are definitely places where the bramble is thinner. Mm. There are some places where it's absent. Um, and although it looks really imposing, looking at it, you're pretty sure that with minimal kind of amounts of hacking or burning, you might be able to navigate a way down, mm. but it's going to be a bit of a challenge. We are definitely going to move a lot slower than we usually do, but I have uh, some some skill in uh, this kind of uh, kind of terrain. Anything with any kind of underbrush, I, I can generally make my way through fairly easily. It just takes a little bit more time. I can probably guide us through it fairly safely, but we need to tie up the horses in the tree line. Probably mm -hmm. is the best mm -hmm. place. Sure. Yeah, that 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 you're looking at it. You you think that's probably the best bet. I mean, firing an arrow with a rope would work if you could fire it far enough and you had enough rope, but you don't have nearly enough rope. Oh, um, burning it, ropes to get her. burning it, or cutting it would also work, but would be incredibly time consuming mm. and potentially dangerous to the rest um, of the environment. And I mean, I don't we want could to. do rope. I do believe I have a grappling hook. I also do as well. Um, I think that uh, I I'm okay. Use. You I navigate and, and well, also yeah. sort of clear and as we go. Yeah, I could use a fireball, but uh, it is not steep enough that I think we need to worry so much about the road. I'm more worried okay. about making sure the horses are properly safe, properly mm -hmm. secured. 
So hobbling the horses is easy. Yeah. Uh, you pretty much just tie them together, <coughs> and, and they, they won't go anywhere because they're not. <laughs> yeah. Horses just aren't smart enough to, to go a, together as I a group. I tried to find so a place that seems to have a lot, uh, at least some new growth uh, in the underbrush, close enough to like this, the the sun that it looks like there's. There's some decent uh, uh, for yeah, to, no problem. To for them to graze on. You you even find a place where they can graze and where there's a, a small pond. I also offer them the uh, the slightly old apples as a, as a sort of. You have done such a good job. Thank you for bringing us into the forest and out of the forest and into the woods and out of the woods. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you manage to you manage to tie off the horses. They they'll be fine. Uh, they have food and they have water. Uh, and they're relatively secure. I mean, if a monster comes upon them, that's not good. Rest but there's there's children. there's no <laughs> way there's no way to protect them more than that. Yeah. Um, so I was a big old dummy, and I wrote it down in my cantrips. But that means that I have to take it out, and I can I have an empty spot in my cantrips. Can yeah, you you can but prepare a different cantrip. Flame? That's fine. If you, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, I'm assuming that's what you wanted to have in that spot anyway. So you can have produce flame in there. That's not a problem. Um, but once again, produce flame isn't going to. All of the tools that you have, grappling hooks, axes, produce flame, are going to help you mm -hmm. try and make I your way down, but no one of them is a solution. If you have yeah. any small handheld weapons that you can use to kind of, but I will do my best. I have my dagger, and I will try to cut away some of these things. I and of course, if you if you want to keep, kind of stay up close with me, we can probably sure. use your axe to help clear yeah. some of the thicker yeah. bits, but I think I can guide us through. All right. I'll just clear my way through. Yeah, I'm going to scimitar in one hand and produce flame in the other. So... <laughs> So with all the tools at your disposal, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop uh, the DC down a bit. Uh, I'll I'll just apply that as a as a reducing of the general DC. Why don't you go ahead and give me a survival check? This is one of those things that you can't technically fail because you can just keep trying until you make it. So this is a, a, a fail forward kind of check. Twenty nine. Twenty nine is very good. I'm oh, sorry, I, not a twenty nine. It's a nineteen. I'm sorry. Oh, a nineteen. L less Ooh. good. Um, so here's here's the challenge. Uh, if you uh, you know with this sort of check, uh, failing doesn't mean that you don't make it to the bottom. It just, it just means that longer. you now have a, a yeah. problem. So in this case, you have failed. I'm going to give the group one of two options. You can fail this in one of two ways. You're still going to make it to the bottom, mm -hmm. but either uh, it takes four hours or it takes two hours, and everybody in the group's going to take damage from brambles. Oh. I'll take damage. I'll take damage. You all have to decide as a group. Yeah. It's not either I'm or. A little bit of damage. Yeah. yeah. Some damage. Yeah, we'd rather take we, 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 we need to get there. And yeah, we need to get there. Got right. Can I treat wounds while we walk? No. No, I mean after. After we get through the brambles. You can, but that'll that'll yes. force you to spend more time. Waiting, so it's but kind that of a split. Being said, the difference we also sort of all have healing pushes on us, yep. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it, so, depending on the amount of damage we take, everybody takes eighteen points of damage from brambles as you okay. push your way through some spots. Basically, your navigation led you to a few dead ends, and instead of going mm -hmm. back, <laughs> you just through. forced your way through. Sounds and, right. And you 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 hacked and burned where you could, but in the end, there were some spots where you just kind of had to push your way through the brambles. So everybody can take eighteen points of damage. Um, you can you can mitigate that. You can heal it if you want once you're down at the bottom. <clears throat> Let me describe what you find down at the bottom. So you reach to the bottom of Serpent's Gorge, and as described on the map, you find the entrance to the crypt of the Everflame. It's obvious. It's not hidden. It's not obscured. It is, but it's a very simple affair. There are two large stone lintels uh, uh, emerging uh, out of the ground, or two, sto two large stone columns with a stone lintel atop of it. Uh, 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 above it is the symbol of, of Kassen, which is kind of a forested town symbol. And uh, this is set into the bottom of the gorge, uh, kind of like a doorway into the earth. Um, the front of the uh, tomb is covered in boards uh, that look like they were nailed in place into the stone itself a long time ago. Some of the boards have fallen off uh, some of them have kind of rotted and turned gray, but on the whole, somebody could have slid through some of the holes, but it looks like the barrier is intact or as intact as they intended it to be. Aculus, could you mm. 
around maybe we don't want way. to uh, do too much if this is a sacred place we don't want to do damage to it do we but not just the board really that uh, sacred if they're sending the children place in on itself. a quest yeah mm. just the board fair, fair <laughs> point well it is someone's burial <clears throat> ground I don't feel we well we're not break gonna break it down. open but just the, this is up. the boards that they put up yeah. this isn't is it possible for us it's like a kid that's like a cheap out type I don't want to hurt the burial ground that's mean you can easily pry the boards off yeah it'll take a little bit of work but yeah Okay. I was more, right. I was more concerned ready? about that possible Icarus. One, two, three, cool. heave! <laughs> 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 um, it, it takes a few moments. I'm not going to make you roll athletics yeah. checks. These things are not that secure on there. Um, it takes a, a moment or two and you're able to pull them off. Uh, if you wanted to do a medicine check to to heal up some of the damage, you can, yeah. you can do that. And then after um, that, I'm also going to light an incense. So okay. I have my thing for an hour. I can just do lay on hands because that's 18 points back. 18. Sure. Oh. Uh, and then while... while, while while she's doing medicine, mm -hmm. you can pray to Shellen and get the focus point back. Love exactly. it. Exactly. Um, All right. I'm going to cast Dancing Lights All right. inside. Okay. So we can see what's going on while sure. we're He's outside. also got that torch. Five. I saw it in his back for once. you. Good to go. Five for you. Uh, oh, I'm good. I'm good. No, it, but you I it. Five for you. Thank you. And... Gave Six me my for love. you. Thank you. So that's ten minutes, and then for the two of us, <coughs> as we're walking in, I'm going to spend another ten minutes. I can also heal us you if you want to heal me. Well, I can heal two people at the same time. Oh yeah, that's, that's so I might fine. as well. Seventeen. Oh, that one's a crit. I'm going to do that on you then. Ooh. Can I have one d8? D8. You're going to get. 21 back. Well, you're going to be One, full. full. All right. Um, Thank you, and baby. then, yeah, uh, for myself. Yeah, yeah, so right. 25. Yeah, that's a crit. Unless you were going for the higher. No, DC. I was going for the 15. All right, so that's a crit. The DC is only 15, so yeah. 25 is yeah, a crit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 20 for me. All right. All right. So uh, a number of you are healed up uh, a good chunk of the way. There, it looks like there's a few scratches left, but you, yeah. you, you'll have to live with those for at least an hour until medicine can be done on you again. Or if someone wants to burn a healing potion, you can get rid of it now. Um, all right. You live with it. Um, you cast dancing, uh, Tariel, you cast dancing lights inside of the mm -hmm. crypt uh, once the boards are pried loose. And inside you see what looks to be like some sort of grand entrance hall. Um, it, uh, uh, it's probably 30, 40 feet deep. There's some pillars running down it. Um, uh, on the far end, there's a really old moldy tapestry hanging on the wall that you can't make anything out about anymore. Um, and that's kind of it. Okay. Can I do a religion check? Uh, you, you can, you don't see too much in the way of religious iconography. So, um, if you want, you can look around for some, but as of yet, you haven't really seen any. Okay. Um, is there a specific question you were trying to ask, well, or are you just looking for something? Yeah, I mean, I'm just... Yeah, if you, you're not really seeing anything, okay. so... All right. Would the thurible help him at all, or is it just me? Uh, it's just you. Okay. All right. The what? It's, you know, in, in church when the priest is walking down the aisle and he has that little thing full of incense oh, yes. swinging? I have one of those. Oh, yeah. okay. So uh, the group of you enters uh, the crypt of the Everflame. And uh, you're grouped together and you enter what is a very large uh, entry hall. Now, from this hall, uh, it looks like there are two doors out, one to the east and one to the west. Uh, the one to the east, however, looks like uh, it has suffered a bit of a cave-in. Um, the ceiling oh. looks like it might have given way in the, in the past 10 years and it looks pretty choked with rubble. So your only real path is the way to the left. Now, okay. of interest, in this room, there are some very, very, very old looking blood stains on the stone. Uh, they look like they're probably maybe a decade old. Uh, and there are a few scattered fragments of bone. Like you, you find a, uh, like a whole finger bone over in one area and a bit of a femur over in one spot. It looks like there, there was something that happened here, but whatever it was, it's long in the past. So I had the Book of Heroes yeah. from Joan Arc. I was reading it as a bedtime story. Sure. Around yeah. Cassin's chapter. 
Yeah. Did I read anything about the, the there, tomb? There isn't anything about the crypt because that was after his heroic deeds. Okay. So this is these are these are deeds about when he was alive. There's nothing about where he was buried or anything like that. Okay. And uh, so yeah, it's mostly stories about what he did when he was an adventurer. Yeah. Um, now there's uh, the, there's nothing about it in the crypt. The only thing you have to go on was the uh, kind of the rambling tale of Jonark. Uh, who, who said, oh, there's rooms and traps and stuff, but it's fine. We disarmed them all. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's empty. I'm going to take their finger bone and go, oh, maybe I can put him to rest. So, Aimer. oh, yes. <laughs> so you make your way out of this chamber. There's really only one direction to go at this point. And you soon find yourself uh, going off to the west, uh, unless you want to spend a whole bunch of time clearing debris. Didn't think so. Yeah, no. Um, so you make your way off to the west, and you find yourself in a room that's a maze of giant stone pillars. 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 Okay. Giant stone pillars. It's kind of a maze of those. And you kind of, uh, I mean, it doesn't look like it's a very complicated maze. It doesn't look like there's dead ends. It just looks like it's a room filled with offset pillars, um, kind of making it hard to see where you need to go. Looks like an art installation. <laughs> 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 do they do a lot of those where you are from? Oh, yeah, no. Yes, <clears throat> sure. We do lots of stuff like that. Just sort of showing off your sort of artisan uh, talents. Mm -hmm. So we just sort of sell your goods. Me I too. didn't know that it was uh, that. Uh, oh, I thought it maybe was just my culture. I didn't know it was others as well. That is a very, very snobby way of thinking of things. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I think I. Uh, Ours are not quite on this grand scale, but. The elves tend to do like more, uh, f like smaller items. Mm. Sure, it depends on the craft. Liz, are you still in the lead? Uh, yes. As you kind of thread your way through this room looking yeah. for a way out? I, I, I tried to pick Jonark's brain about the mazes and stuff like that sure. as much as possible. Well, because he said they were simple, but I, I take nothing on faith. When, when, he when he described this maze as simple, he wasn't really wrong. It is literally just a grid of columns. Um, and you start looking around for the door and you kind of round the bend and you're walking between two columns and suddenly the floor gives way. Oh! Give me a reflex save. Oh. Will do. Doesn't look like they uh, remembered to disarm all the pit traps. Of course. <laughs> I hope there are still pillows. Uh, that will be a 25. Uh, you uh, managed to just like stop yourself an inch before the end and you look down and down in the bottom are a bunch of old moldy black pillows that look like they're Ugh. just covered in filth and mold um, and the stink coming up out of there Ugh. is far worse than the 10 foot fall would have ever been. What did they have in those pillows? <clears throat> Probably got damp from the from the ground. Mm -hmm. But it's just feathers. Why would it smell so horrible? I don't know, but I'm very glad I did not fall in those. Everybody keep a weather eye. Too. Did I notice? Uh, I can I take a quick look at the markings that, like... So, looking around, um, it, it be, you kind of look down one way and you can see one of them that's open further down. And you start to realize that the pattern of these, as you kind of feel your way around the room, is, is really kind of random. And there is a, a trail to make your way through the room. Um, I, I'm not going to belabor it because we're not playing a map or anything like mm -hmm. that. And they're not really that dangerous. So I can't able test them with the foot before stepping mm -hmm. on them. Yeah. <laughs> you're able to slowly, you know, it takes 10 minutes, but you're able to navigate your way through the room and find your way out. Okay. The door leading out is open, although it looks like it was once uh, closed with some ancient sort of complex lock mechanism. Um, probably something some devious uh, designer required you to find you all the levers in the room Is it before a, you a, opened. A wooden lock? But they but they left it open. No, it's a metal lock. Oh, interesting. Um, <laughs> so, but you're able to make your way out of that room, and uh, you find yourself in a in a number of twisting kind of corridors. Uh, just to keep things moving along, there's a few dead ends, and you, you find yourself in a room with an ancient fire pit. Mm -hmm. um, you find uh, you eventually uh, make your way uh, kind of up a short set of stairs and over to a chamber where there's like uh, the ruined pieces of some ancient uh, uh, wooden statue that's kind of just fallen to, to ruin. Th th oh my this goodness. You are making your way through what looks like a, 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 a dungeon that's just been spent. There isn't much to it. When they made this burial ground, you think they added all these rooms in the hopes that they would use this for this? Why do you have so many rooms full of nonsense? <laughs> because it was grave robbers. 
But also, it was for children. I think after. Yeah. Now is not when it was originally built. What are all these rooms for? Well, maybe yeah. this one was for like you know all the grains and things he would need in the afterlife, and then another one was we... for all the weapons that he would need in the afterlife. And you know, people are very concerned about what you need in the afterlife. I understand. I just assumed you'd want it in the same room with you. <laughs> well, and in <laughs> some cases, you build traps to protect. You know, the, the grave, Robin. I that makes sense. To me. It's, well, this, not that fancy this, uh, with our this uh, kind of helps me with my theory that perhaps they knew that it they was the ever ever flame, and instead of re- they were trying they to were, hide these it. These are very mm. weak. We're adding traps, all these other it. things to get you distracted. Like that's right. Mm. Continuing onward, you eventually find your way uh, through a uh, series of doors into an ancient chamber. That looks like it has uh, a pillar that was filled with arrows because there's spent arrows Ooh. all over the room. Ooh. Like the a pillar was firing arrows Ooh. in every direction. Ooh. But of them this, good? oh no, they're ancient rusted arrows. Mm. They're they're in no good shape at all. I still take one arrow um, and stick and, and so interestingly enough, many of them have blunt tips. Uh, as a matter of fact, it looks like most of them it, uh, uh, have like small bean bags. Oh. Tied around oh. the the front, oh, so that's that they wouldn't kind of hurt. Them. That's, that's sort of adorable. A baby dungeon. <laughs> sweet this room. A baby my, dungeon. My first dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My little dungeon place. <laughs> yeah. uh, did um he uh did Jordan um Jordan um uh Joan Arc ever tell us how old the kids were that he w- they would send to do these things like. Um, like they, they it was like a coming of age ritual. Oh, so like, they were oh. they were like they were like 15 16. It was oh. it was they were they were they were like <laughs> newly minted adventurers <laughs> or you know that's yeah. Quite old. Yeah. 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 That being said some of these beanbag ones might be good for bludgeoning. Uh, they they would but they are in Perfect. terrible terrible shape. The fletching is ruined. The wood itself is warped over the years because of moisture. Ikilus takes one just kind of like yeah, oh, they they bend. Snaps. They literally oh, bend. Yeah. yeah, no, they're everything everything in here is is <gasps> been sitting for ten years in, in a dungeon filled with moisture and rot. Omrit yeah. still um, eyeing that pillar just in case it's got a few spurs left. Um you you end up uh, walking through the room and when you step on a plate you hear a click <gasps> and um all of a sudden the pillar moves it, it 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 there's a shudder and a shake and you hear a tring and you hear the sound of a bunch of like bolt strings snapping uh, as some of them were still loaded but they've they've been held taunt for 10 years and when they released like the arrow just slides out and Aww. falls down um, so there's nothing there's nothing of danger here this is a charming mm-hmm. place and you make your way past this and you found it and you find a set of stairs going down there oh, we perfect. go okay. down one level now that we have right. made our way through the decrepit theme park let's go <laughs> so what's a theme park you oh. you make your way down this oh, this that. stairs, uh, but you do find them choked with rubble. Um, you you have to spend uh, almost an hour kind of clearing out some debris. It's not impassable, mm-hmm. but you have to clear some out to be able to climb through it. No problem. Once once you have mm-hmm. once you have cleared I that out, that. you're able to crawl through. But it would take you several more hours to be able to like move quickly through this. So as a note, you know, you it does take you quite a bit of time to get through this. Uh. Um, but after after about an hour, um, you're able to make it down into the crypt itself. And I'll light another incense in the thurible. Okay. Uh, so now you're down in the crypt, and this is the part where John Art gave some specific instructions. He said you, there there's there were three ways uh, you could you could go. Uh, the, if you go to the the west, you'll end up uh, kind of in the in the old uh, part of the crypt. I think part of that collapsed a long time ago, and there's water. And it's not good. Don't go that way. That that part's ruined. Uh, but if you go if you go to the east, you'll you'll start heading into the crypts proper. The moment you start seeing places where bodies are buried, that that you know you're heading in the right direction. All right. Thank you for the uh, advice. And he said, if you need a place to rest, if if you go just dead south from the the stairs, you'll end up in a small sanctuary. But there, that that's a dead end. Good to know. Mm. Good to know. We, it is possible that we might have to spend the night in this place, depending on how much longer this takes. Right now, hope not. right now, I it's like I early afternoon. Yes, but that's only if everything goes according to plan that we don't have <clears> to <throat> spend the night here. Well, sure. Let's cross I'd always spend the night here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we spend the night outside. <laughs> 
let's go to the crypt first. Yes. All right. Well, do we take right. the west right. with the water log, or do we take the east where east. we're probably going to run into some undead? We have Just to. A hunch. We have to go east. East. Okay, we go east. East. East is the direction that Joan Arc was like. Yeah. If you if you go east, you're gonna end up. Uh, you're gonna. That's the way to get to Cassin's. Cassin's okay. tomb. Let's go. Sword and shield, and I'm ready. Straight on. Yes, yeah, I have also. Draw, uh, can we draw weapons yep. now? Drawing or? weapons. If you want. Now. Yeah. Sure. I'm gonna so, touch my thermal. I'm gonna draw. Yeah. Yeah. So you make your way uh, through. Actually, uh, I'm gonna ready my staff instead. That's what I'm gonna do. So you make your way uh, to the east and through some chambers where it looks like there's a bunch of uh, dead bats um, that look like they got trapped in here and, and died. Um, I'm and, gonna whisper uh, to Saren Ray, please watch after them. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them look like they died by violence. Um, oh no. Uh, and uh, through there, you make your way past one last guardian trap that has long since been deactivated. It's like a, a statue, and it looks like it was on wheels and, and could have like rolled forward and hit you, but it's it's broken now. Mm -hmm. uh, and beyond that, there's a great set of doors, gilt doors. And even now, all these years later, although tarnished with age, the gilt doors... Uh, uh, stand before you, uh, showing uh, uh, an image of Cassin. Uh, you've seen this from the book, so you kind of know what he looks like. Um, standing proud and tall, uh, the kind of bearded woodsman uh, with his, uh, he doesn't have his sword drawn, you can't even see it, but he's just standing looking proud out, at, so out, 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 at, the, out at the horizon. And that's, that's on the gilt doors in front of you. You know that that probably leads into the tomb itself. Mm. All right, are we ready? Let me wait. Uh, let me say some, some words to Saren Ray. Uh, don't know anything about opening doors. There's no etiquette for that, but... Saren Ray, we are here. If this is where you meant to lead us, good. If not, whoops. Um, <laughs> please watch over us. I'm going to retrieve that sword. All right. Okay. <sighs> so, uh, you approach the doors and open them. Beyond the doors, there's a, a grand set of stairs that leads down into the tomb of Cassin. Your mind starts filling in what this place might have once looked like. Stone walls, sacred burial places, sarcophagi uh, uh, around this place. And in the central location, there must have at one point in time been a grand tomb. And I say there must have at been at one point in time, because that is not the situation you see when you open up this door. The stairs go down into a chamber that looks like the entire back half of it has fallen away into the darkness. There is a vast hole in the back of Cassin's tomb, where there should probably be a crypt in a place of honor central to your eyeline, there is instead nothing but a pit going down into darkness. Standing in front of this pit <gasps> is an ivory statue of an elf with a giant pair of blades in its hands. Oh, it is a statue and it stands there silent over the pit. That doesn't seem to comport with anything that Joan Arc mentioned. But the moment you open the doors, the statue suddenly creaks and moves. It looks like it's made of stone, but it is animate. And it begins to stride for you, tor toward you, blades ready. Can I get everyone to roll perception for initiative, please? Scout's warning. Uh. Can I yell something? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you can talk, yeah. I'm just gonna yell, I'm a cleric of Saren Ray, I'm here for her sword! The oh, statue no, makes- There's an evil down there. The statue- <laughs> the <laughs> statue, <laughs> the statue does not even remotely appear to recognize you. Right, oh, um, right, right. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's, it's dark. Oh, why do I roll these for initiatives and not for attacks? Aww. Oh. All right. This is such uh, a good sight Mine's not see. good. <laughs> Look at this. Aculus, what do you got? Yes. Well, my mask is inhibiting my uh -huh. sight, and it's dark, so a 13. 13. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's terrible. Is that a one? Linnaeus. Three. Uh. Huh. 15. Ooh. Not much better. Mm. Terriel. 20. Ooh, okay, better. Not great. Omelet. 35. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to put that up near the top somewhere. Chris. Let's. 30. 30. All right. Omelet. You see this uh, this statue suddenly spring to life. It looks like an elf. It has long pointed ears, but the expression on it isn't uh, 
joyful, happy elf. It has furrowed brows and a and a and a kind of a grimace carved into its face. That is totally unmoving as the head looks forward. It has two blades in its hands, but they actually look like they're just part of the statue itself. Yeah. They're not actually swords. They're actually just an extension of its arms. They're carved into it. But all of it begins to move, and you don't see joints. The stone just flexes. Right? What do you do? Well, those looks like some evil eyebrows, so. <laughs> Uh, tap the stone. Come on, wake up. All right, you rage. Time for some work. And I chuck, uh, I, 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 without even moving, I just chuck the, the hammer that I was holding straight at the stone. All right. Um. Uh, you can go ahead and throw a hammer at it. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. Oh, you're, you're dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, no, down here. Does a 15. No, not even Six, close. Yeah, it, it bounces off the statue. Oh, you now need to uh, spend another action to draw a weapon, because yep. you don't have anything in hand. So right. that's going to be the end of your turn. Well, that didn't do nothing. Liss. Uh, oh, oh, wow, OK. You, you um, do not have a, Everyone had their weapons out. Mm -hmm. I had my staff out, so All right. I'm going to. Uh, oh, boy. I have a oh. feeling <laughs> that a, Arrows are probably not going to do much against stone, so I'm actually going to, uh, I'm actually going to take a, a run and I'm going to slide on my knees and just take a crack at it with the staff. Go ahead and make me. And an I'm attack. holding it with two hands. All right, you uh, go running up to it. Uh, that is one of your actions. You spend your second action to attack. Go right ahead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that is going to be a twenty-two. A twenty-two misses. That's what they say. As I am passing it, I am going to try and strike it again. All right. Go ahead and make your third uh, or your second action. Uh, oh, second attack, turn. third action. Yeah. Um, it's made of stone. Yeah, it's probably going to be resistant to almost all harm. That's Doesn't 20, matter what weapon you're 30, using. 20. 30, 20 is not going to be enough now. I'm yes. sorry. Uh, you, you do manage to hit it twice, but all that you do is manage to make your hands numb as your staff slams into it. <laughs> Uh, it now goes, and with only one target in front of it, it attempts to slam uh, its uh, 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 blade down into you. Of course. This is the risk of melee. Uh, armor class 27. Uh, yes, that will hit, but it is not a critical. What are we supposed to do about this thing? Hit it a lot. <laughs> Uh, take 21 points of damage. Into its space. 21? Yeah. 21. 21 points, my god. Mm -hmm. That's a lot! Uh -huh. And that's not a crit! In one Why? hit. And uh, there's a second one coming. Uh, it does take its second attack. Uh, that's not quite as good, though. Uh, 23? That's exactly my AC. Oh, no. Uh, take another 15 points of damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good thing we all got healed up early. Uh, I did not heal up all the way. Me neither. Oh boy. And, uh, uh, I thought we did. I thought I knew that. I didn't. No, I only got five points. Um. You did because you had lay on hand. Oh. And I, we did because I critted on both of us. You see Liz just start coughing up blood. Oh, boy. Mm, that's oh, good. that's not good. You're a range fighter. Get down to the... Um, and Coming with its, uh, with its uh, third action, no. it is going to throw one of its scimitars. Even though they look like they're made of its hands, it's going to throw it. And as it does, the scimitar starts gl glowing with red heat. Um... Oh. And he, it throws it at mm, Linnaeus. Okay. This is good. This is Makes good. sense. I yelled at it. Yeah, but you are. Uh, but I, I, I'm going to miss. That's my third attack. So yeah, I have a the, shield up too. The, so. the, the, the blade slams into the stone next to you where you can feel the heat radiating off of it. Can I grab it? Oh, it's way too big for you. Dang it's, it! It's like it's like eight feet long. I just want to fancy something. Because this thing, I should note, this thing is like... 13 feet tall. Oh! It's almost reaching it up to the ceiling. Definitely not what I was doing. Oh, boy. Tariel. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, I'll take an action to drop uh, uh, Dancing Lights. Uh, you don't have to spend an action you on don't? that. You can just leave it and it'll end. 
Oh, great, I will just leave Dancing Lights then and instead use that action to inspire some courage. Good call. And then with the uh, last action, or two actions, shoot two magic missiles at it. All right, those both uh, streak out and hit it. Deal uh, 2d4 plus, or 2d4 plus two total. 2d4. Uh, that would be there we go. six plus to eight damage. Eight damage. All right, both the missiles uh, streak out and slam into the statue. Chips of stone fly off. Um, that doesn't look like it slowed it down much, but it did something. Uh, Linnaeus. Uh, okay, there's a couple things I want to do. I want to um, just, again, yell at it, do the same thing. Please stop, I'm a cleric of Saren Ray. I'm here for... That's talking. But you can do that as you Elvish. do other things. Okay. Instead of just common. Yeah. Before, because I realized, oh, it's an elf. Uh, <laughs> but it's still a stone. It probably doesn't do anything. I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, what would I need to roll to figure out what this thing is if it has any weaknesses? Can I do, is that like a... Arcana? Arcana? It's a statue, probably animated by magic. Okay. So it's not a, any kind of religious iconography. No, you don't see any on it. Okay, okay. Mm. <laughs> 15. <clears throat> Not enough. Yeah. That is one of your actions. Okay. Um, how close am I to it and to everyone else? You are one move away from it. You are adjacent to most of the party. Foot-wise. Uh, it, is, it is about 30 feet away. And they are... They are well. uh, all adjacent to you, uh, except for, no, everybody's, I no one's moved right up to it yet. Oh, sorry, no, uh, Liz have. has moved up to it yet. So, 30 feet uh, away. Uh, they're, they're about 25 feet away, the, the, the rest of the party is adjacent. I'm going to cast Bless. Okay. So everyone within a five foot range <clears throat> of me gets a plus one to all attack rolls. Okay, right? so this will not stack with Inspire Courage, but this does last a whole minute as long as you stay next to... Uh, yeah, and I can continue oh, to build awesome. it out by five oh. feet every turn. Uh, which means oh, as long as they're next, next to, you. To, to you, that frees you up to not have to do Inspire yeah. Courage every round. More. Okay, so that's Bless, all right. Uh, next up, uh, Iculus. The Ring of Ram. All right, uh, it is within range of that. Okay. Do One, two, <laughs> or three actions. I mean, this thing's gonna take three. All right, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the fortitude save. Go ahead and roll 66. Um, you call upon the ring and a ring-shaped force goes flying through the air, slamming into the statue. Chunks of stone go flying uh, left and right, uh, and it may get pushed back. This is a fortitude save. Okay. I'm actually gonna fail. Oh. Six, nine. Very poorly. 13, 18, 19. 19 damage. And it gets pushed. Them. All right, oh, and it gets pushed back oh. 15 <laughs> feet, <laughs> 15 which causes feet. it to fall down the pit. Oh! Yay! Do I get a neck tack of opportunity? Bye! Goes by me? <laughs> no, forced movement doesn't cause it, and you have to have the reaction. Uh, oh. But uh, the, the, the upside is it does tumble back and fall down into the chasm that is the back of the room. That is Bye. how you use excessive force. Bye. Um, this causes the statue to tumble down uh, 30 feet, uh, which causes it to take 30 points of damage. Um, oh. Yes. Oh, boy. Well, that's I'm starting sorry, to show that. Uh, just mm -hmm. half. All right, so it's going to take a bunch of damage from that. It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't take a tremendous amount, but it does take a bunch. Uh, now it's at the uh, bottom of a pit. Uh, have fun getting out. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, the statue has fallen down, and 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 I want to be clear: it doesn't look like a pit. It doesn't look like someone carved a pit. It looks like the the back of the the the, the crypt just fell into the earth. Mm -hmm. um, so the it's not a sheer fall. The mm -hmm. the statue kind of tumbles down um, a, a a rocky surface. Okay. Um, does anything break on this thing? Oh yeah, it takes cracks and damage oh, okay. from the fall and the the strike. Um, but it doesn't look like it's been destroyed. It just looks like it's now down I at the- You can still see it. Uh, kind of. Your light is allowing you to see it, and even as you're looking at it, it's stirring and preparing to stand back up, but it, it looks like it's gonna be a challenge for it to get does back it, up that does rock Does it look ball. like it's like a cavern structure behind it? Yeah. But your lights can't illuminate very far into it. it, it there's, there's darkness there. Mm. I don't know, Omelet. this is the real tomb. Well, 
Too late now. We gotta finish the job. Oh, someone's already taken this sword. So, uh, how many feet away is it now? Uh, it's now. Well, it was about thirty feet away before, and now it's about another feet? twenty feet down and down. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's it's. It would be all three of your moves to get down to it because the last one you would have I to have spend climbing right down. Now. Oh, that helps. All right, uh, you can you can, so I can make it to 80 it with a sudden charge. If you make an athletics check, you can bound down the stones Ooh. and get to it. Oh, uh, nice. oh, sure, sure, sure. And I also I'll use my 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 dashing, my braces of dashing, so I get fifty feet. So go ahead and give me the check as you go charging into the pit after it. <gasps> Not twenty. Oh. Yay. Um, you go, you go, you go. <laughs> so athletics. Yeah. Dirty four. Yeah, you go, you go jumping and, and tumbling down the, the rocks, uh, running running across rocks like you were uh, uh, born to you them. You have which a rock you, runner which feet. Which you were. <laughs> um, and uh, as a matter of fact, you don't, <laughs> you don't even, like, you don't even like... deal with difficult terrain from rocks, do you? No, I don't. You didn't even need to make a check. Oh. You, you go you go bounding straight down what to it. What a waste of a 20. Yeah. <laughs> she hold, she hold the 20. No, she cannot. Uh, and Can she uh, get a hero point? Uh, you wasted a whole I 20. used it on metal rock. A whole 20. Look at me tap dancing okay. along these I'm gonna, rocks. I'm going to give it to you, but you have to use it on an attack roll in this fight. All right. Um, <clears throat> well, Only it's going to be fail it, right? it's gonna be the end of the session. So, yeah. All right. Um, so uh, go, ahead and, go ahead and make an attack roll. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Here, you can have a hero point at the end. And now I take it back. <laughs> I'm very generous. Okay. <laughs> that is hilarious. 27. A 27 hits. Yay! You go uh, bounding straight up to it as it's trying to stand up. It's still flat-footed because it hasn't stood up yet. And uh, you slam your uh, axe right into it. Ooh. <sighs> 12. 12. Um, that does significantly less damage than you would have hoped just because yeah. it's made of stone and you have to get through its hardness before you hurt it. Um, sure. So uh, that did some damage. You still have one action left. I strike again. All right, go ahead and roll. Oh. And that was a mother <laughs> flipping 20. Yeah, we have to stay in the tray. Oh. Nope, that's no, garbage. I'm, all right. That does nothing. Uh, oh, well. But you do have that. Ah. Why not? Yeah. You Let said it, in we'll this burn fight. It. Yeah, all right. <laughs> there it is. Get that 20 back. That's worse. Right. <laughs> That's happened every time. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Uh, Liz, it is your turn. So Liz is going to cough up more blood <coughs> and then going to take a moderate healing potion out of their pack. It's one action. Drink it. Uh, mm. The All right, yeah. That's just one And action. get, well, it's not terrible. <laughs> it is 11 plus 10, so I get uh, 21 hit points back. All right. You regain 21 hit points, uh, and you still have one action remaining. Oh, I see. So the pulling and the drinking. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, I am going to ready my bow. All right. My arrows. All right. Well, uh, you have quick draw, so you can actually draw and fire. Aha! Do I have a... <laughs> but don't you have the staff in one hand? Yes, that's why I went ahead and just did it as one action. Oh, okay. So yeah. so in, in reality, probably what you did is put the staff away. Yeah. All right, so... That's fine. All right. Uh, all right, it goes. The statue uh, stands up, and you don't have attack of opportunity, correct? I don't. No. All right, I so uh, the uh, statue stands up, and then it is going to swing at you with uh, its uh, built-in kind of scimitar. That is going to be an armor class of 25. Hits. Did your armor class get uh, That is I'm going to be down again. 18. 18? Yep. Okay. Uh, and then with its third action, it's going to swing again, but a one is going to miss entirely. Its, it's scimitar slams it into the stone fails. next to you. <laughs> Tariel, it is your turn. All right. Well, thanks to the bless, I don't need to inspire courage. So I'm going to, um, is it an action to just put the wand in my teeth <laughs> to grab something else? Because I don't want to drop it yet. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you do that, but you can't take any action that has a verbal component without dropping it. And that will, be, that will still be an action. You still have to put it there. Dang it, okay, well, I'll just put it away. All right. <laughs> and then I'll just do... She's got um, something to say. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will cast Telekinetic Projectile. 
All right. At eat. All right. Uh, is the range on that enough, or are you going to have to um, Well, I have reach. I have spell reach. Oh, so you can double the range can, by spending an action. Um, yes, yeah, she does. It's an action to... to so what you do is you... using So uh, reach spell is a meta magic feat, and what that allows you to do is spend an action to enhance the next spell you cast. Uh, so you spend an action to add uh, add more reach to the spell and increase its range. I thought so, it was just like a thing that happens. Nope. You have to spend an action, so it okay, will be you. it will be all three of your actions to do that, but that's fine. No, that's fine. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you will be able to attack it from here if you do that. If I, you could just hold on to the wand. You only need one hand to cast a spell. Oh well, then I can yeah. I'll just hold the wand, yeah. and I'll just uh, then I will use all my actions to uh, reach the spell, and then cast the spell, all right. and then 16. it's going to uh, be twenty-eight to hit. A twenty-eight will hit. Go nice. Do it. Uh, Feeling the blue dice today. Uh, I guess I'm kind of feeling the blue dice today. Seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. Let's take, um, pick up another the, rock with the, 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 the chunk of rock slams into it, but it doesn't look like it had very much effect. Well. Uh, let's continue moving down the order. That was Tariel. Uh, Linnaeus. Going to take an action to grow my bless by five feet. All right, so it's now up to ten, ten feet. feet. Uh, and I'm going to run forward. Okay. To the edge of the pit? Yep, 25 feet Yeah, forward. That's almost to the edge of the pit. And... Mm, One action left. Hmm, hmm. Am I within range of them? Are they in my 10 feet radius? No. No. Okay, I'm going to move I'm again. in the pit. All right. So okay. that mean, that requires you to climb down into the pit. Uh, yep. Give me uh, an athletics check to climb down there. Oh, you had to. Okay. Oh! That's good. Dirty 20. Yeah, no problem. Okay. All right, so you climb down, and now they're within range. Okay. Uh, you may also now be in range of the statue, yeah, but... Yeah, I figured. All right. Uh, plus one, plus one. Thank you. Iculus. Oh, nice. Um, oh, and you're not actually down in the pit now that I think about it. No, I still have you, to move. You still have to move to get to it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's right. I'm going to move Join move us. closer. You get right. plus one. So that's going to take you two of your actions, and I need you to make an athletics check on the second one to make it down to it without getting hurt. Come on down to pit's fine. No! No! Why are you rolling? Are you falling down the pit? That's a one. <gasps> so you're falling down oh. the pit. Okay. Oh. No. Uh, Body surfing. Unless you unless you have a hero point to hand me, you just fell down the pit. No. Um. So you go charging up and you you start bounding between the stones, but you slip and lose your footing. Too much armor. It's, it's the shoes. You yeah. fall down into the pit. Take 15 points of damage from the tumble. Okay. Oof. Uh, and Thank you are now next to it, but you are also prone. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, which means you're flat-footed. Mm. Which means it'll have a much easier time hitting you. But you could, so you have a choice. You can either stand up and stop taking that penalty, or you could attack it, because you do still have one action left. Can I, I mean, can I punch it again with the ram? No, the ring of the ram can only be used once per minute, and you just used it. All right, well. Good use. It was. I'm just going to have to swing the sword. All right, so you swing your sword at it. Even though you're down on the ground, you swing away anyway. Go ahead and make me that attack roll. Last one. Give me the net 20. That's a 9, 10, no, 23. Mm, you're coming up short. Uh, omelet, yes. it is back to you. You swing wildly, but your blade skips off its knee. Omelet, what are you up to? I'm swinging away because I just saw my friend tumble down to rocks and I was swinging madly uh -huh. at his ankles. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> uh, and I get a plus one. Yep. Um, so, oh boy. 15, 16. 27. 27. All right. Uh, a 27 is a hit. That's a hit. Yeah. A little better. Oh, that's quite good. Sixteen damage. Uh, at that, the <laughs> statue is showing a whole lot of cracks. It's still up and fighting, but it is, it looks very badly damaged. I would like it to be dosed. Mm -hmm. Swing again. Garbage. <laughs> I don't think it, I don't think I don't think that would do. So that's negative five, ten, nineteen, twenty. 
Not going to do nothing. Uh, 20 is going to be just shy, yeah. Yeah. And then third, why not? Hail Mary. 20. Mm, that one. <laughs> no. No. Really it's not low? bad, but it's not really low. It's just not going to be better. So its armor class has recently changed. What did you get? Oh. oh. Changed less than a 20, though? No. no. That's what All I mean. Right. It's I, I, I wanted to know, 10. I wanted to know how low. It wasn't quite low enough. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, that'd be... It's only like 19. Liz, it is your turn. Did you add your plus I one? am a yeah. foolish, foolish person. I am so, so dumb. And I mark my prey. And yeah. I quick draw. And I shoot. All right. Still kind of coughing up blood, but I'm better now, slightly. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Uh, I don't have bless on me. No. And no inspire no. courage. Okay, good. Um, sorry, I'm... So that would be a 26? Hit. Yay. Clean and solid. Nice. Uh, that means I get my precision. And what, 2d6? 2d6. Uh, <coughs> that is four, four damage for the first four. one. Yeah. Uh, that one skips five. off the stone. Oh, sorry, five. Five. Yeah, Th add. that one. You're not sure that one did anything at all. Yes, and then I will take my hunted shot <laughs> with my uh, last action, which is two shots. Ooh, no, that's not going to do anything. Nope. Uh. Thirty-three minus ten, so twenty-three. Hit! Yay! That manages to score another hit. Your arrow whistles through the air and slams into the statue. Four damage. Four. Yeah, no, that's not quite doing it. Um, the arrows are are kind of bouncing off its its stony surface. The statue goes. It's going to take one swing at omelet. Uh, Bring that is, it. That is going to be a twenty-nine. That hits. Take. 15 points of damage. Okay. Its second swing is going to be at Iculus because you're prone. Uh, and that is going to be a 29. Uh, that is going to deal 11 points of damage and it's going to take a third attack. This time just trying to stomp on you. Oh my God. Uh, and you roll to the side, just barely missing. Yeah, that's what okay. uh, Tariel, it is your action. The statue is fighting furiously, but it looks like it's badly hurt. Gosh, okay, well. Um, it, it would take me two move actions to get down there, right? Yeah, it's two two whole move actions okay, to get down Okay, then I'm gonna put away my magic missile wand and just start going down. Well, you could hit it with the magic missiles from here. No, I already used it. Oh, you used the wand once per day? Yeah, today I already? used it on the snake. Oh, mm -hmm. no, that no, no, was... No, no, I used it, no, I used it, the first thing I did was I used it down here. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah that's right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, you're, you're, you're right, yeah, sorry, I forgot. I'm going to put it away. All right. And I'm going to move down there. All right. Uh, that was Tariel. Linnaeus. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, going to burst all three actions in my staff to heal... Both of you. Do I add? I don't so if this is just the staff, yeah. it's mm. only going to be 1d8. So oh, For this. so lovely. Because remember, the staff only casts at first level. If you want to heal more than that, it's got to be one of your spell slots. I'm going to use the font instead. All right, then it's 3d8. Heal my friends. Uh, no, this 3d10. Right? Oh, yeah, sorry, 3d10. <laughs> this will heal the two of you, and it uh, the... Statue gets nothing because it's it's not, it's not alive. Oh, oh whoa! Uh, oh, oh, twenty, Ooh, twenty points. Dance. Get some twenty. Healing energy bursts over all of you. Iculus, it is your turn to act. <sighs> <laughs> all right. Um, you are both down there next to the statue. You are still I prone. Snack. I think what I want to do here, and I don't I know if this is going to be the right choice, snack. but you know what? I'm going to try it. Creepy snack. Um, <laughs> I'm going because I still can't punch. No. But we do have those magic arrows, right? That the wrap, vine ones. Wrap it up in a vine. You're, you, so you'd have to 
drop or sheathe your sword, draw your bow, and then fire. You would get one attack, and you'd still be prone. Mm. And so far, ours haven't been. Doing okay, that. well, I'm gonna stand up. All right. Um, <laughs> so that's one. Yeah. And I guess I mean it's your actions. Do what you want. No, but, but that, that was a high cost to yeah, fire one arrow at it. Uh, I'm just gonna just, just hack at just it. hack hack yeah. away. There comes a point in time where violence is the answer. It is the answer. Yeah. In this um, case, <laughs> come on, Shellen, come down to me. And when you're fighting a giant elven statue, that may be the case. No dice just, tray. Yeah. yeah. Where's the other one? I don't know. Uh, go it's ahead. going to jail, too. Go ahead and uh, make me your second attack. Um. You had to. Oh, my. No. Nothing's happening. <laughs> I just stood up. The, the, uh, the, 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 the dice gods are not favoring you. Omelette. Yes. <laughs> No one has managed to hit this thing in an almost an entire initiative cycle now. <laughs> hey, I was healing. I hit no, it you're all good. I did something. I'm getting ready. Barely. What's happening? I don't know. It's okay, though, because... 24. That's one. That hits. 25. That hits. <laughs> uh, it looks like once you did enough damage to it, its <laughs> armor kind of cracked. And now it's easier to You're not looking so good. Quick. Yeah. You and your stupid eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> it's the eyebrows. It is. They're evil, and they add to my armor class. 25 points of damage. <laughs> He's now missing eyebrows completely. Yeah. All right, uh, your, uh, your blade... Chiseling away, your carving blade a new face for you. Slams into him, but he's still standing. Give me your second attack. Uh. Oof. Same exact roll. Mm, so the 20... 20. Uh, armor class 20 is not going to hit. Okay. Third attack. You did your plus one, right? Yeah. That's what made it to 20. Mm -hmm. I think. This is yeah, that's what made it 20. <laughs> 19. Nope. 19. Gonna what a great just first roll. Just, a, a, just a hair effect. short. <laughs> or a second roll. Or a second. Liss, the statue is teetering. Looks badly wounded. Yes. All right, I'll do what I can. Uh, you I'm got going this. To take my hunted shot. All right. Hopefully, I roll something decent. This yes. is not bad. Um, that is going to be a thirty. Maybe if we turn the energy. A thirty. Mm -hmm. Thirty is a hit. Jeez, please. Um, that is eight damage for the first hit. That did a little. It is rocking on its heels. Second shot uh, is going to be a 23. Hit. Oh. Take it out, take it out, take it out. In this. Eight damage. The statue tears and falls <gasps> into rubble. How did it? You I took it out, you're a statue killer. Oh, thank you. That's, oh, what you That's what happens when... <laughs> Wait, where's the sword? When Liz got at ya. <laughs> so the statue crumbles, teeters, and falls into rubble, leaving you alone in what was once the crypt of Cassin. It's clear to you. There's iconography along the walls that are still intact that uh, you can see the events of Cassin's life, his founding of the town, his adventures. You can see those all carved into the stone here and there. But where there should be a tomb... In fact, where there should be an Everflame, there is instead just a, a gaping hole leading deeper and darker down into the earth. As your light draws near it, you can see that on the stonework above, which is still intact, like the ceiling is still intact and some of the wall above is intact, there has been something written. Aww. It's written in common, so it's easy to, easy to understand. And it says, we have reclaimed what is ours and will have our revenge. Return to the light, for only darkness and death await you below. And that 
is where I'm going to end it for today, everyone. I want to thank you all for watching and encourage you to tune in next week for another exciting session. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here today, you can learn more about the game at Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Com. The core rulebook, bestiary, adventures, and accessories are available now from Paizo.com and from your favorite local game store. If you want to see more of my adventures, you can tune in every Thursday to watch The Oblivion Oath, a live Pathfinder 2nd Edition actual play with the staff at Paizo. You can find that on the official Paizo Twitch channel at twitch.tv backslash official Paizo. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next time.